Greetings, adventurers! I am the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the FNDM, and this is Cold Hard Witch. Our lawful stupid playthrough of the Rime of the Frost Maiden module. Uh, let's see here. Uh, last week. Last week cost us an arm and a leg. Yeah. But. Uh, uh, moving forward, we've got some uh, some pretty exciting things coming to the group, but let's go ahead and reintroduce you to the beloved cast of Cold Hard Witch. <laughs> Starting with the snarkiest bastard of them all, Buddy Taylor playing Xander the Wizard, and there's Madeline who plays Zolvana the Bard, Amy who plays Fariel the Drarogue will be out this evening, but with us in our hearts, usually accompanied by a dagger put there. And then uh, Nate plays, of course, the professor who's got the warlock. Uh, and then Rodney, ladies and gentlemen, is back as Flynn, the dwarf flinging fighter, huzzah, and newest to the dance floor, ladies and gentlemen, is Delphina, the cleric, played by none other than Chael, definitely not a mimic. So, friends, let us gather around the campfire, shall we? All right. When we last left our intrepid party, they had journeyed out, finally, of East Haven, because the, this poor beleaguered DM had trapped them in there, and they very, very close became to just be, this became just almost like a East Haven simulator. But they got out of East Haven and were on the road to try to help the beleaguered professor, who had lost his damned mind. So uh, in the process of him trying to figure out where the universe ends, and he did that by stabbing people, or just one person, I should say, a lot, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the party decided to take him north to the town of Claire de, Claire de Naval, so that way they would have a chance of sort of recovering him. Uh, a chance, I should say. In the midst of this, our beloved cleric, Herrick, was called to the other world. Something from the beyond whispered to him and told him that it was time to leave. And so on the road to this objective, he walked through a rainbow bridge. And as he walked through it, the professor tried to stop him. And in this effort, the professor reached through the magical barrier, grasped hold of an individual who he believed to be Herrick. And as he pulled back, we were revealed with Delphina, the newest, the newest member of the party. And of course, the professor now sans one arm. Yeah, so, severed an arm in the process. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's hear it for the boy. Let's get it. was him. automatically cauterized. It's fine. Hand. Yeah. So, I mean, he's not um, totally armless, though. Oh yeah, no, no. I say not to disarm you, but um, we <laughs> he can count on he can count on this many fingers how much he hates me. So <laughs> he <got> toes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, that being said, as they pulled Delphina out from the realm of the SMR, uh, which of course, interestingly enough, if any of y'all were paying attention, Zolvana seemed to recognize our newest party member. Oh yeah. Intrigue. Uh, that wasn't the only thing that came through the barrier as they were then attacked by berserkers. And these seemingly soulless creatures like just bludgeoned the party, al and almost killing, Del almost making Delphina's very hasty entrance a very hasty exit, but mm -hmm. the party was able to recover and now they stand bloodied, bruised, but victorious as the night waxes on. So, party members of mine, you stand with bodies of two berserkers, uh, the, the, co the cold light, uh, cold blue light of their eyes faded and gone, and they are now slumped on the ground in front of you as you see the dwindling fires of the campfire, although it tries desperately to provide you heat the, the events of this evening have left you nonetheless chilled to the bone. So, party, what do you do? Can I have a, a clarification? We had just finished our, like our, our night, our long rest. And yes, this, true. We woke, up, we woke up to this, right? Oh so yeah, no, no. So as, as Herrick had finished his long rest, this is when the events sort of uh, began. And so you had finished your long rest and then 
as they say, and, shit with the fan. That is yeah. so, really good to know. So the day has just begun, and we're pretty much already spent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, this sta- so it's standard. Okay. Okay. Good yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Might be worth uh, and damn near dead. Oh, and look, it's morning. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Might be worth taking the taking the time to take a short rest and just get a late start in the morning. But yeah, let's see if we can build the the fire back up and um, find out exactly who. Our new friend is. Um, I'm I going to walk over to my severed arm on the ground, and just so so, so go ahead and and make a perception check. Yeah. Ooh, not great. Uh, seven. <laughs> yeah. Does that not great come with a number? Okay, good. Um, yeah, with a seven, even you in your slightly less maddened eyes realize that your arm is nowhere to be found oh oh no 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 I, no it got lost in the <laughs> i like how rodney go. immediately went for like the oh we gotta go, no. we gotta go. <clears throat> get behind me satan all right <laughs> is there well, a woodland creature fine. with it in its mouth <laughs> wait no? okay but it, it went through the portal so like is it where Delphi was having her coffee? Maybe. It, there's just there's just an arm on Delphi's <laughs> like the, kitchen counter. Yeah, at the cafe in the celestial realm, there's just like one uh-huh. wizened hand on the table. Is like, did she try to pay with an arm? She cannot come back here again. <laughs> Y'all said it costs an arm and a leg. <laughs> plump, plump. That's why I love my party, everybody. All right, so joining us around the campfire. Let's go ahead and get us back uh, onto that map. All right, Francis. Yeah. So as we're here, uh, I'm going to say, uh, Chelsea, your spiritual feather has uh, dissipated. And um, all right, we got all kinds of corpsifieds. So, yep. yeah, so I'm going to uh, go slump on the ground next to the campfire and just I'm yeah, gonna search, stare into uh, the flames. I'm going to search the corpse of red. Excellent. I'm definitely going to go slump by the campfire. I have very little hit points left. <laughs> I, I wish to not die. <laughs> Correct. Delphi will um, follow. So that's a if if that's an investigation for red, that's a dirty twenty. Ooh. Okay. Nice. I mean, that is that is a solid investigation. Let me go ahead and see what I. Hmm, what do I want to... All right. Oh, mighty Xander. Let's go ahead and have you... Oh, uh, roll me a d12. A d12. A d12. On my Kraken dice. Yes, uh, that's an eight. Get Kraken. Excellent. So, with the eight, you find a ring. Ooh. The ring has the symbol of Oriel on it. It's that uh, snowflake pendant. Mm-hmm. It's, it's carved out of the same, uh, the, the black uh, onyx that you have, that you as the party have discovered to be Chardolin. And so it's- uh, the, the whole thing is carved from Chardolin? No, or yeah, that's it's, it's, it's rather kind of roughly hewn from it, so. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm definitely not gonna pick that up. Um, I will. Can it? Can I drag the the? Can I cut that hand off and bring it over to show the professor? Yeah. Oh, totally. Yes. Do that. Okay. I'll, I'll do. It. Does the rest of the corpse looks like it would burn in the fire? It, yeah. So it, it has for uh, for all intents and purposes. Uh, it, uh, I'll I'll skip the medicine check for you. Uh, this guy just looks like a severely frostbitten. Uh, maniac for less, less of a better term. He looks just kind of like a wild man who has sort of wandered off into the snow and then found like the biggest hunk of tree that he could then proceed to beat the holy hell out of somebody with mm. and has just been sort of wandering through the snow, allowing the ice and the cold to sort of slowly destroy his extremities, but at the same time hasn't seemed to reach the trunk of his body. So it's like the tips of his fingers are all blackened. His nose is almost gone. It's like a complete hollow at this point, but, and like his ears have sort of uh, like chart, like blackened and fallen off a little bit, but it, he, other than that, looks like a, a healthy individual. So 
Well, I at the very least, I'm going to drag him over to where Blue is. If you could move the token, dig it. Um, does it? Does it, everybody? Uh, I'm sorry, I will address the, the group. He uh, he seems to have a lot of a lot of frostbite, but he's not not fully decayed. I don't. Maybe he's under some sort of protection. Right. Uh, he does have this on his hand, and I will show the party and especially Professor the the ring with the symbol of Oriel that that looks to be the same stone. I'll say, Professor, is this the same the same stuff that we were dealing with in East Haven? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yes, yeah, let me take a look and I will examine the stone. Yeah, don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. Uh, do I need any kind of check to determine that this is indeed Shardolin? <laughs> Given your experience with Shardolin, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you know, uh, you, you, you get that one for free because it almost drove you. Well, no, it driv. It did. Drive. It, no, yeah, it, absolutely. Yeah, no, it, it driv. It driv. It, 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 it don't I've, drive you. I've been drived. <laughs> yeah. Drived him right over the ears. <laughs> uh, all right, party mine, and then yeah. so. Uh, uh, actually, can I use my telekinesis to remove that ring from that hand? Yes, you can. Yes, and you just can. kind of place it into an empty pouch. Yeah, totally. And just keep it out of harm's way. Yeah. Like that might be might be worth looking into. All right, so you secret that on your pouch. And then uh, Fariel is going to go ahead and do the same thing. And she is going to search the body of the other one, which I think is... You did red, so that was blue. <laughs> she finds uh, uh, a, a set of manacles. I know, just what just, just what the party needs. Uh, manacles. Yes, yeah. manacles. <laughs> so, or, or fast. And then they look to be of a size universal ish enough that it, they could be used for either someone with very thick arms or someone with very skinny legs. So. Uh, right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big legs, huh? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we here at Lawful Stupid don't kink shame. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome sauce. So, uh, oh, party mine, you take a short rest. Is that where we're at? Can we take a long rest? <laughs> Can we just sleep all day, please? No, yeah. let's yeah, let's just. I, just... I, I I I know I'm coming in after a fight with this, with like full everything, but I'm like, we should probably get moving, uh, to to wherever the next town may be. If if, if we can move quick enough, we can get in for nightfall and you know crash at an inn and hold up there. I. I'm well aware everyone's very tired and exhausted, but I say we have to keep moving. Well, Flynn, Flynn, it's only a few hours to the next town, and we still have our dog sleds, right? Oh, our axe beak sleds, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I think you went with axe beaks, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think I, definitely went with axe beaks. It's on brand for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely on brand. Uh, oh, 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 oh. So, I, so I think we can we can take an hour, <laughs> and I'm going to look right at Delfina. And maybe discover something about our new friend. Yes, please tell us that this is not for nothing. Can you help him find his right hand? <laughs> <laughs> was it my right arm? I thought it was my left arm. <laughs> oh no! Actually, <laughs> I quit. Um, actually, actually, knowing the professor is probably his left. Hold on, I'll I'll roll I'll roll my D two. All right, yeah, roll you roll that Kraken D two. See yeah. if it's a, if it's if it's a one, it's my right hand. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, it's gonna. Hey, it's a Kraken. So yeah, le left arm it is. Yeah, left arm it is. You left your arm behind. All right, oh, good. God, you knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> this, cup is started. By, this cup is filled with Nathan's disappointed tears. Uh, <laughs> Did you bread in it? <laughs> I, I, can, I can I can try to find your your arm. Uh, don't worry, um, it's gone. Did it 
It didn't happen to, to, to go where I came from, did it? I have no idea. Oh, no. Where? where I thought from, I, from I thought where? I, it's, it's gone now. It doesn't matter. Oh, no. But, but from where did you come? We, we were trying to find, house. we were trying to find our friend, we're trying to grab our friend Herrick, who had gone into some sort of portal. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, we're, we're from the celestial realm, and then sometimes these things can happen. Um, that means there's, oh no. Oh, I hope it's not on my mother's table. She's going to be so angry. <laughs> Oh, I would love to see the look on her Man. face if that was true. <laughs> well, do, uh, oh. do 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 things decay on the celestial plane? No. So, like, silver lining. It's somewhere, it's there, and intact. Maybe. Um. In, unless my mother got upset, in which case it's probably in the trash or in a lake or fed to the to the pets or um or yeah yeah hmm depends so on what mood she's in that day are you no my name is delphina i i I'm, I'm a cleric i'm new i just started yes you you're new as a cleric? Yes. It, it's my mission. I'm supposed to help people. You just right. drew the shortest straw you could draw. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, oh, man. I mean, oh, I Flynn, mean, Flynn's not wrong, but you're going to get an opportunity to help us all the time. I didn't I didn't draw any straws. Do I need it's, to? Is that, no, is that what you're supposed to do? No, it's a, it's a metaphor. Like, you're, you have really bad luck. Well, well, no, no, I, no, no. Is there anything you can do for Zalvana? Like what? Well, and maybe for Ooh, yourself, she, you seem to be going she, yeah. to the snow a lot. Well, I've never, I've never actually fought before. Uh, you did great. Yeah, I mean, you came out alive, so. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I just. I just practice and my mother and my grandmother teach me and she holds up her her mace and it's i mean i've never i've never this was my grandmother's i've never even used this but i, I promise i'll try really hard but i don't like to fight and i don't like i don't like i don't like blood speaking of not liking I don't, blood i'm look, gonna you look over and you see that uh zolvana who uh who had recognized you earlier is looking in a state I mean, of disrepair. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's... Um, I, I can, I, I, can, I, can, I, I know, I know things. Um. Oh, what, what well, are well, do? well, I we can... have a uh, an hour. I mean, you can practice your cleric stuff on me. <laughs> okay, okay. Can I? Uh, okay, I, I, I can try. Um, I can, I can try to use healing word. Okay. Um. So I will look at her and I will say, um, heal. <laughs> Eight points <laughs> of healing. Did that help? And away, pain. Uh, um, just how many hit points is that? Eight. Eight. Oh, well, thanks. Okay. Um, uh, that there? definitely feels better. Thank you. Uh, of course. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've seen you. How, how have you been? Not, not counting now. Uh, I, uh, I'm i doing okay. Had to get away from, uh, you know, all of the loveliness from back home. I may have written something a little damning. But, oh. you know, I'm doing well. Uh -oh. Made some friends along the way. Well, yes, that's good. It's, it's always good to have friends. Yeah. Well, I, I'm glad I came here to you, at least. At, le at least I know somebody. Are these people yeah. crazy? Are they evil? They're not evil. They just crazy. I mean, they were going to kill us if we didn't kill them. Okay. Um, Don't worry. They're 
an acquired taste sometimes, but they're great. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. For a moment, I thought you were speaking of the Berserkers. Are are you talking about us? <laughs> yes, Anna, she's talking about us. Yeah. Oh, you okay. heard Yeah, it. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You Okay, you're not wrong. No, okay. we're speaking in Celestial. I yeah, can understand I Celestial. <laughs> hey, 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 guess what? There are two more people in your party that can understand it. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say uh, DM in Elvish, but you can't understand this, can you? Well, actually, if it's Sylvan, I can. It's uh, uh-huh. Elvish. Ah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but then I will say in Sylvan, I can speak Sylvan as well. <laughs> oh, so can I. That was part of my studies. Great. We Ooh. all can understand each other. Awesome. <laughs> um, well, How do okay. you two know each other well um i know i know delphi's mom uh we we were friends and she uh she helped me out when i was uh you know getting into some trouble <laughs> what, what kind of that? trouble do you get into in celestia you find I mean, things I mean, she, out you she, she, sing she about them you write about I mean, them i like have, poking some uh poking some people it's fine how is Avariel? She's she's great. Uh, it's actually really good that I found you because she was. Did you not get any of her letters? I haven't. Oh. I've been on the go so much, and I haven't updated her on where I was. What's okay. going on? Well, she actually wanted me to come and find you so that I could I could learn to be a cleric and help help fix the world. Oh well. Try to heal some of the hurt. I'm glad we found each other then. I'm really glad you were here. Hmm. It is so good to see a friendly face in all this cold. <laughs> it is it is very cold. Yes. Oh. Hi. Now oh. I'm here and now I can learn. Yes. Wait. So where are we going? Oh, we're... Care Yeah, that one. <laughs> and it is a care something. They don't have a care in the world right now. <laughs> no, no, they don't. <laughs> um, so what are we going to do here? Well, okay, I think we're more like care less. But <laughs> <laughs> we're going, well, we were trying to help the professor, but we needed to move on from East Haven anyway. Don't go to no, East Haven. Uh, stop a cult. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Im- impending doom. That. Yeah, there's um. The speaker of Cardinal of... is missing, and we believe him to be in danger. No. See, you're already here to help. <laughs> okay. And as I said, there's there's an abundance of need of help here. Yes. Uh, there, the ten towns is have has fewer and fewer speakers every day. It seems so. If we could protect one of them that would go a long way i think do the do the bad guys just not like what they're saying uh well um the the running (laughs) the running theory seems to be something there seems to be some sort of cult and i don't i i'm sorry i don't know how much is in my head and how much is true at this point but i we think that they're targeting the speakers that that much i am confident about can i make an insight check to see if it seems as though the professor the professor is being much more rational can i can i insight that just to make you absolutely can do that and also everyone make sure if you're going to do the short rest so uh, do your mechanics uh do your hit die if you're going to do it and then, uh, just because I'm a friendly neighborhood DM, uh, Zolvana, be sure to hit him up with your song of rest to give a, some extra heals. To you. Yeah, um, I know that's a thing. I just couldn't find. Is that my spells? No, it's a class features. feature. Yeah. Uh, features and traits. There we go. Features and traits. I got a, a thirteen DM. A thirteen. Okay, so with a thirteen, he definitely sounds the most rational you have ever you you've 
you've heard him sound. He's as rational as he has ever sounded that you know of. Okay. So like when you first met him in the bar and he was just like, yeah, how the hell? You're like, yeah, quirky, but doesn't seem to be like a maniac. So we're about back to that level. Okay. I'm good with that. Um, while while everyone is short resting and she's song resting, can I find a piece of a piece of wood, maybe yay that I can carve onto? Yeah, totally, totally. Uh, so I, I'm like in your in immediate vision, there is like so there's the tree over here, but you also could probably pull one from the fire, uh, or or like I imagine because you have set up the campfire, you may or may not have a stack nearby of fuel to go in. But you know, actually, rather than, uh, rather than do that, I'm just I'm gonna go over to the tree and I'm gonna. Take pull my dagger out and and I'm gonna carve a little bit on the tree. Okay, okay, uh, excellent. As Xander does that, pulls off do, to the side. Do we roll our own di- di- healing for Song of Rest, or does Zalvana roll one for everybody? I believe the Bard rolls it for the party, but. <laughs> Right. I say, I, um, do that, I? That, that could also be a, a. Yeah, it feels like the bard should roll that. But go ahead. What you got, Zavana? Um. So it's it's one d six, right? So Correct. do I roll? Was it five d or sixty? What? what oh, so you just you so you literally roll a d six, and then they are able to add that d six to their hit dice if yeah. they recover any hit dice uh, during mm-hmm. the song of rest. Yeah. So basically, while everyone's sort of resting up and healing, you play like uh, Freebird, and everyone is just like, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Oh, wait. Right. Oh, no. that was a D. One second, not a D6. My bad. Yeah. <sighs> All right. So, uh, so, so how, how'd that come out? Got a four. Four's Excellent. good. Four, hey. Um, four okay. is enough. Better than um, your average roll. And so. also, um, how your roll rolling stuff what how when oh, where so, why so you're looking to roll hit dice yeah yeah so during a short rest you can go ahead and try to recover health because norm- normally at a long rest you recover your full health and also all your spell slots and all that jazz during a short rest you can choose to recover what is known as your hit dice so if you go ahead and look in your uh, if you click on the short rest icon on your uh, D beyond page you'll see that there is in your short rest uh, you can go ahead and recover up to four of your total hit dice. For you, the bard, a hit dice is 1d8 plus two. And you oh. can burn as many of those as you want. However, the more hit dice you burn during a short rest, you get, I think, only half of them half, back along. Half of them back. So you burn two, you get one back. You burn one, you get that one back. You burn three, still get one, right? It's it yeah. rounds down. And then Half if you burn four, you get two back. Since you are <clears throat> hurt in the most insane way, yeah, um, I would recommend more hit dice as, as opposed to less, but that is what yeah. a humble DM suggests. Um, and, we'll yeah. forget. and you and you eventually get them back. It just that's the rate they recover during yeah, the yeah. long rest. And you, yeah. you get your you get your hit dice back when you do a long rest. Okay. Um and do I roll that via uh D&D Beyond? Yeah, so what you could yeah, do is you can. D&D Beyond, or you could literally just roll uh, however many, you have a total of four D8 you can roll, and then you just add plus two. Now, is it plus two for each D8, or just plus e- two, no matter how D8. many D8? No, nope, each, each D8. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, because it's hit die plus con, and I do them one at a time. Yes. You don't have to commit to a number of them, so. Mm-hmm. Ah! Stupid. Where's my D8? And then, of course, don't forget to also add the four that you got from your Song of Rest as well. Yes. And and that Song of Rest applies to anyone who has used a hit die to recover health. Ah. Ten. Okay, cool. How you feeling? Cool. Um, way better. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually back to my max hit points. <laughs> Great. Yeah. How many hit dice did you burn? <laughs> I did two. I just rolled really well. I <laughs> cool. And I rolled a six like... and then I rolled an eight. <laughs> yeah. Just like Buddy said, it's always better if you roll your hit die one at a time and then that way you know, okay, I've recovered this many. All right. I was yeah. like rolling my D10. I'm like, that's not the right number. <laughs> 
sadness. All right, friends. Uh, anything else we wish to try to accomplish during this very short rest? Um, no. Lovely. Excellent. Uh, professor, make, yes. make a perception check. Oh, I'm so good at those. Yeah, you are. You really, really are. It's a 10. Cool. With a 10, uh, you, so you, 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 so you're kind of dusting yourself off as, and trying to get used to having just one arm. Like, obviously you're sh like the stump from like your forearm. To, oh, look, see, it looks just like that. Mm-hmm. That's the one. Um, the stump of your arm is sort of aching, but it is cauterized cleanly through. And that is when you notice that in, in addition to this burning pain in your arm, you have an almost like burning cold on your hip where that ring is situated. Oh. And as you reach back into the pocket to sort of pat to see where it is, the ring is gone. And as that cold I don't like that. Bands out from the professor, each of you see that you are not necessarily around the campfire anymore, but you are now caught inside the middle of this tempest as a blizzard erupts around you, surrounding the entire party, allowing you to just be caught up in this hail of snow and flurries. You can't see, you can barely make out the distinction of each other around the campfire. You, Xander, I'm gonna say, uh, go ahead and make me, uh, see, you're, you were about 10, 15 feet away? Yeah, I was over at the tree. Okay, okay, do you, so uh, upon seeing this, Xander, you see the professor start in this, like, this cloud of snow seems to sort of erupt from the campfire. Do you try to make your way towards it or try to get the hell away from it? Is the tree such that I can uh, grab onto the tree and hold yeah, on? Absolutely, yeah. You can like try to anchor yourself to the tree. Yeah, yeah. Then, uh, then I will do that, and I will uh, kind of as things start to get nutty, I will just call out to them that that I am still there and I'm holding onto the tree. Brilliant, brilliant. And like so that, so that they don't suspect like, me lost. And you shout, you, and like you're the wind just takes your sound and just slices it. It's gone. And so like you you feel yourself trying to shout to your party members and be like, I'm <laughs> Okay, then I then I will then I will use message and I will message Flynn. Awesome. Awesome sauce. So he reaches out to Flynn. What do you and what do you say to him? Uh Flynn, I'm I'm still at the tree and I'm holding onto the tree. I'm okay. What are you guys okay? Uh you can, we will you can reply to this message. Uh, well, <laughs> you can reply to this message. Your warranty is about wait, to expire. Wait, wait. Right. Some, some stone. <laughs> <laughs> He's been trying Xander, to get in touch with you about where, extending uh, your car warranty. Xander, where are you at? <laughs> um, right. I, I mean, uh, 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 is it worse out there? It's terrible in here. Is it worse where you are? And then I will cast message again. Uh, yeah, it's pretty shitty over here. Um... Hold, hold on. I'm sending you somebody. Um, who? What's the, what's our what's our setup look like now? And I, I, as he says that, I'll cast message again. No, I, I feel stable at the moment. You just stay stay huddled there. And as as that message pops, like you, uh, like your situation as it is, is that the orb that you are in seems to almost slam in together. As it slams in together, you know. Nothing. So everyone, secret secrets. And I fact, I need everyone to take off their headset for this one because I'm going to talk directly to our studio audience. Oh, oh no. Wow. Oh no. That's just the worst. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag F and DM shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. I don't oh. want to do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> All right, friendly adventurers. So as the party is sucked into this portal and sent ripping through space, coming upon the campfire, you hear first the sound of barking dogs. And then in the distance, down the path, 
you see the telltale sign of dog sleds come skating across the ice. And on them is the flag with a golden paw. Stepping off from one of those dog sleds is a man. This man is dark, tall with dark hair and piercing ice cold eyes. And as he walks to where the camp fire used to stand, he shouts behind them, they're gone. His voice, the sound of cracking ice. Torga Icevein steps off of her dog sled and says, well, we got the, we got the message that they were on the road. So they have to be between here and East Haven. So find them, Sefik. Oh, don't worry. I will. And as he turns back to his sled, in the darkness, all you're left with is the cold blue of his eyes. I don't like all the smirky smirks. Yeah, like that's, <laughs> that's kind of what I was thinking. There's a whole lot of smiling and eyebrows, and I'm not. I mean, that's that's pretty much my mo. It's like that was mm-hmm. my other DM name, was smiling. <laughs> eyebrows. Yeah, well, I just, I've, been, I've been meaning to tell you for years. I don't like that, just in general. So. <laughs> what? All right. So, my friends, as this nothingness engulfs you, and then at the same time also spits you out, you find yourselves in the frozen wasteland of the north. Oh, Lord. Weren't we already there? Just yeah, no, this that. is now the north of the north. The north is the north. The waste oh, is the wasteland wall. of them all. And I guess the I'm hoping... Wasteland of them all. I guess I'm uh, hoping that the thing sucked me in, too. I'm only sort of hoping that, though. Oh, oh. <laughs> but it's like, and I lived? <laughs> I'm going to go back to Bryn Shander. <laughs> all right. And, uh, just I'll go for help. I am pinging on the map, oh, friends of mine, oh, my yes. mighty party, where I need you all to teleport yourselves. Bop. So... Drop yourselves in. You can be in a rough huddle. And Xander, if you want to be a little farther off from the group, you can be. But I say we're we're not splitting hairs there. Then we just be killing rabbits. All right. So, mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Womp womp. Is this a reused map? Because the tokens are definitely old tokens. Tokens are definitely old tokens. Like the bar is weird, and my hit points aren't right. Mine I'm sorry. Okay. I'm just I'm just being pedantic. Oh, oh, shallow end. But but, but the but the bar shallow is definitely different on pedantic. on mine. So oh, interesting. I wonder. Cool. Oh. All right, I've got so so far on the on the game. I've got Xander, Zilvana, Professor, and Flynn. Shale. Yay! She's there. there. She is. Oh, there she is! Hooray! And okay. then you'll have to pull Fariel in. Well, so here's. Oh, did she not make it? Here's the fun part, friends. So. Uh, secret secrets, Flynn. Oh Lord! Oh, again? Oh, <laughs> Welcome back, Rodney. <laughs> yep, Wait, yep. <laughs> so, Rodney. Yes. As Flynn is teleported through space and time, at a certain point in the mashing and meshing of your party members, Fariel collided with you. And in that moment, with your telekinetic prowess, you melded together. And just before you could separate from this time bubble that occurred, you now appear slapped back into reality. And as you begin to sort of look around, you feel this presence in your skull as if you hear the voice of Fariel saying, what the hell did you do to me, Flynn? I didn't do this. I didn't do oh okay, my I might have did this. I'm I might have done this. You. Yeah, don't say like don't say oh that. My don't say God. it. Don't then, say that. Please stop you, saying and that. And as you reach back, you realize that your ears have elongated oh to my the God, that's length a, that's of a drowse. Okay. So for the remainder of this game. Uh-huh. You have the ability of the rogue to do sneak attacks. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> However, there may or may not be moments wherein having Where I can't drive two voices in your head might not be the best advantageous situation. So as you come screaming out of the void, you are slapped back with Fariel shouting right back at you. So. Okay. All right. All right. It's fine. I'll figure, we'll figure it out. God, this, this can't be good either. There's lots oh of hand gestures. And uh, right. okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, we're going to take a head count real quick. You know, you're goddamn right. You're gonna take a head count, you son of a bitch. It's, it's, it's one, two. Oh, wow, some trifling. Three, four, trifling, trifling. Five, six. Okay, we're all here. DM, we're are all... you gonna pull Fariel onto drag her around? You gonna tell him, Flynn? Um, yeah, I'm gonna. You're gonna tell, tell him what you did? I'm, I'm not. I tell... All right, everybody. We're Party all, members. We're make all a here. Check. We're all. We're all here, everybody. No. I just we're need you all to, to. Deception. 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 Uh, eight. Liquid die, you failed me. <laughs> I didn't roll my liquid um, one. Hold on. 14. 16. 14. Okay. 14, um, 16, 8. 11. 11. All right, anybody with a 10 or above, you notice very distinctly that Flynn's ears seem to have elongated in the process of the teleportation um, to such an extent that they look... Droguish. Um, I have a shenanigans question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, shenanigans question. Um, so I have a new feat. Ooh. Um, can I open a channel for everyone to listen in? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your unmitigated joy of it. You can. Yeah. All right. So I'm like, all right, everybody. Um, I just learned how to do this, so bear bear with me. All right. Um, so Flynn's going to stop moving his mouth and you're all going to hear in your head. All right, check one, two. Does this work? I cannot believe, I cannot believe for one second that I'm inside you, Flynn. Oh my God. And that's Fariel inside my head. Wait, can can everyone hear me? Yeah, they can now. Uh, can, can, I'll say it out loud. Can we reply back to that? I mean, I, I definitely it, can. I said it out loud, though. Um, I she can she can hear, and then she can probably talk out. Oh, trust me, I hear everything that's going on in yeah, this she, nightmare. That's rude. <laughs> Fario, Fario, and now I'm thinking, Fario, Fario, does he actually have any good ideas? <laughs> First of all, it's my telepathy, jackass. I can hear you. <laughs> Anger, the the breadth and depth of his ideas range from both horrifying to jaw droppingly astounding. However, I don't wish to be party to any of his ideas because there's a middle ground in between, which is just straight nasty. Get out of there! What you? I'm not here. You put me here. I didn't I'm want to be here. Just look, Can't look, you like yeah. close these doors? I'm gonna Can build I... a mind palace, and you just like stay in the guest room oh. for the foyer. Oh no, I'm gonna be out in the guest house on the grounds of this guest <laughs> little palace of yours. There's a guest house. Can I roll an Arcana check, DM? What's that? Can I roll an Arcana check? Yeah, totally. Lynn, what did you do? I think, given my new psionic abilities and the weird transporting thing, um. Uh, I I caught Fariel in my mind, and so she is there. Is her so, body with us, or is it still back there? I don't want to answer that. Oh, Lord. What? I'm going uh, to try something. All right, Flynn. Uh-huh. Fariel is going to attempt to slap you. <laughs> so we're going to roll this off as a grapple check. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> using my Kraken dice... Ariel is going to roll a strength check against you, and let's uh, let's see what kind of shenanigans that 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 leads us to. Okay. Right, so. uh, she, oh, Amy, you're gonna be so proud of me. Uh, 
She rolled a 17. Uh, so then that's a 17 straight. So Okay, I got a 19. Oh, <laughs> no. So it's like, as you ask the question, like, where is her body? You see, like, Flynn's hand come up. And as it comes up, he, like, exerts control and then kind of looks shocked <laughs> at his own hand that it tried to attack him. She's like, okay. So I'm in here. This sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Okay, we need to figure out where we're going to go and go there now. So I, I got an 18 on that arcana. Have I ever heard of anything like this or or know of how to maybe fix this? So with an 18 on your arcana, so you know that the world of teleportation is not, um, <laughs> it's not an exact science, uh, especially given the fact that your conduit for this was a roughly hewn Chardelin ring. So the odds that it was a finely tuned teleportation spell, especially one that was designed to teleport six individuals, is probably not the case. It was probably designed to shoot one person to a spot and that it. So uh, with that being said, the fact that so many were put into a, a bubble and then shot through space, it's miraculous that more of you didn't get smashed together. You also feel with that 18 that Flynn kind of has the right of it with his psionic perceptions that it, it made him more susceptible to the magic that was happening. And so either the solution to this is to either A, uh, find a magic user who could attempt to separate the two of them or to go ahead and go through a, a tele, a, a correctly calibrated teleportation circle, which may yeah. or may not help separate the two entities. And, and But uh, looking around you right now, in the wasteland of the north, 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 neither of those is available to you at this moment. But you know you can solve the problem, just not immediately. Awesome. <laughs> All right, party members. So, standing before you is a cave. So, uh, as you sort of look out, uh, the, the the flurries and the snow sort of blast around you, and you look sort of behind you to the north, you see this giant open maw in the shape of what looks like a, a, a bear, a boar. Um, it, anyone want to roll a history check? I would love a history or... check. Can I get? Can I assist him and just give him advantage? Absolutely, yeah. So roll your histories. If you want to help your friends out, give him advantage. All right, let's go. Nah, that's not a very good history. It's a 10. <laughs> A Nine. natural 19, total 24. Nicely done. Okay, so, uh, Professor, uh, knowing knowing, knowing what you know. Um, Nate, how long has the Professor been in this area? I think we all discussed that you've been... Uh, a few months. A few, yeah, right? Yeah, so I, I think of everybody here, you're here the shortest amount of time. So in terms of your knowledge of the area, you wouldn't necessarily know what you were looking at, your no, your knowledge of history and architecture, you see that this was actually, uh, it looks to be dwarvish in construction, or at least in its um, efficiency. Like it, it like okay. very clearly was hewn purposefully out of this rock. This wasn't like a, an animal that did this, but the facade in front of it seems very roughshod and almost sort of cobblestones, like something that you would expect out of like a, 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 a goblinoid. So, okay. um, yeah, so it, it, so while, while the structure proper seems to be solid, stable, good to go, mm -hmm. the facade that you're looking at and the gate in front of you is of a rougher hue. So, uh, so I'll say it looks like this was originally uh, constructed by dwarves, but likely more recently has been ha inhabited by some uh, some rougher creatures uh, I I would expect the dwarves are long gone at this point um, so is this I'm pinging on the map DM is this back here a the entrance to this cave system 
All right, so Fariel just rolled a dirty 20 on her history check. And she's going to, like, say to Flynn, or she's actually going to attempt to talk through Flynn. So as you kind of see Flynn's mouth start to move, she's like, that's the Bear Clan. That edifice, it's the Bear Clan. It's, um, it's a tribe of uh, nomads in the area. So it's not goblin, but might as well be. That's really disturbing when you do that. So, w- w- <laughs> what is what is it a clan of? Is it a clan of dwarves? A clan of goblins? What, what is? It's the uh, it's the nomads that roam the ice. Now, uh, show of hands, party members, how many of you have been in the area for about one ish, two ish years? Yeah, I'm gonna say so. All of you would know that there are indeed uh, clans in the area. By clans, I mean tribes of people. Uh, These people are uh, based around certain animalistic totems, um, ranging from bear to wolf uh, and to the elk tribe as well. And so various and sundry tribes, they they fight within each other for control of sort of the, the northern outreaches of the land. What this tells you, one, is that by being in part of a clan or tribe's area, you are far away from 10 towns. Like you are in the tundra out past civilization. So problem number one. Two, for those of you who know an experience of the different clans and whatnot, they oftentimes war with each other. Uh, the the tiger clan being a huge one, elk clan being a little more uh, nomadic as they travel through. However, the bear clan has been somewhat tumultuous of late. And so no one's really heard a lot of them, which could be good or bad. So, but those of you who have been in the area would know that those clans and tribes exist in the farther reaches of Icewind Dale. And yes, uh, to answer your question, uh, this is, so that the, the this Edifice, which I will reveal to you now, is the entrance to the cave itself. Mm. Bear. Mm. Bear. So, party members mine, you may brave the cold or seek the cavern of lost souls. Elfina, you're not equipped with cold weather gear, are you? Nope. <laughs> I see. <Yeah>, <laughs> no. I, I'm guessing Herrick took his thermal cube with him and disappeared. I know. I was just about to say, like, oh, man, I wish I needed. I so, would have asked him for his thermal cube. In, yeah, we never in, thought of it. In truth, everybody. Herrick, don't go. Give us your cube first. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave us, Herrick. Actually, just leave us your stuff. Um <laughs> So, in truth, the hundred foot cue, uh, the, the the sort of the, the teleportation spell that brought you all here brought you all here. And so, everything that was around the camp at the time was left there. And so, looking in sort of the the the, the debris and, and, and detritus that had sort of dropped in when you all fell into the snow, everyone make me an investigation check. Oh, Ooh, I can boy. do that. Oh, wait. Uh, twenty-one. Oh, not great. Nice. Okay, Xander with a twenty-one. Eleven. Eleven. Nine. Nine. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I Flynn feel like that's minds on the subject. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and that's why he rolled a two. He and Feriel yeah. are both a one. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> so combined with that, pers- what, what did I say? Investigation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, so Fariel rolled a, a 14, so... Uh, <laughs> all right, so um, Xander, absolutely, and uh, Delphi as well. So anyone above that 15, you see Xander, you see clear as day, uh, Herrick's pack, just like kind of half buried, slumped to the side in the snow. Um, Delphi, you actually see uh, a what appears to be like a chef's knife sticking <laughs> out of the snow. Oh. Hi. Oh. What? Um, yeah. That. Take. Uh, whoever. Whoever needs the knife. Take. Take the knife. We. This is. 
This is Herrick's pack. We should we should take it with us. Mm-hmm. Inside Herrick's pack, you will notice that he, uh, as you all were sleeping throughout the night, he had prepared several of his uh, hero's delights. And so you each will have access one more time for this last 24 hours uh, to that benefit. Uh, the uh, So, so the, I, the, I do have a question, DM. In the what? pack, uh, is it at all possible for us to find a hype train that's running in there? <laughs> uh, go ahead yeah. and roll an investigation check. Um, I feel like there's at least a level three complete uh, with a level four mm-hmm. on the way. So, so you said you roll that investigation check? I, I did. I did. It's 21. And <laughs> that hype train comes right out of the pack. And... <laughs> Uh, amazing. So uh, the uh, we're th- complete on level three so far, which that means we're definitely going to give away a twenty dollar gift card for some store credit at crackandice.com. If we can uh, complete this level four, that would bump it up to thirty dollars that we'll give away after the break. So uh, get in there on that on that hype train, folks. If you want that want that beautiful card, mm-hmm. yeah, choo choo um, use us. Did uh, in all seriousness, were there was there any extra cold weather gear in his pack? I know that so, he had a little bit of everything. I am, li- yeah, seriously. Uh, y'all need to get like huge shout out and love to Jade. Uh, so uh, he has uh, so the chef knife, uh, which uh, obviously, but he also has a potion of growth in here. Ooh. Are you are you? Do we need to write all this down? Or are you going to provide it to us? Um. I'll put everything in party treasure for now. Yeah. That's, ah, that's right. Reginald. Yeah, we go. Do, do that party. So uh, potion of growth. Yep. Uh, there is indeed an extra set of cold weather clothing. Okay. Yay. I won't write that one down because I'll assume. Because yeah, be immediately as well as a set of crampons as well. Yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hate myself for saying this. There is the hunting trap. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Yes, that's fun. my shout out to level to to Jade right there. Is that fun hunting trap? <laughs> yeah, I knew you bastards would love getting that one back. Uh, uh, there is a potion of healing as well. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hey, what's happening? What's happening? Uh, oh, oh, you no, didn't say that. It's, it's fine. Nope. Every, every, Everything's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I... All right. So uh, there's a pouch of salt and pepper. Aww. Is it the uh, the magic spice pouch? It, 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 so it's it's Herrick's version of the magic spice pouch. So um, okay. Turns out the secret ingredient was love. Oh. It's always love. It's a terrible always. secret ingredient. Always. Old Bay is a better secret ingredient. Salt. Oh, yeah. Old Bay's pretty good. What are you, good. 90? <laughs> Old, <laughs> Old Bay! Uh, and then uh, you have the Thermal Cube. Yeah, Thermal Cube. Thermal Cube! All right. If there's a spare cloak, I would really, really like that, please. Yeah, we should give her yeah. the cold weather. Yeah, we'll, no, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll give... We'll give Delphi the, the cold weather gear. Here, put put this put this on. I'll also activate the thermal cube just Brilliant. while she while she's getting yeah. uh cold weather gear on and so we can all warm up a little and discuss what in the hell we're gonna do. So Brilliant. there's Delphi, also do you a... have anything? Sorry, go ahead. No, there's I say yeah. just a couple more items. There's a healer's kit and then way, way down in the bottom, there is a wedding band with <laughs> eight sapphires in it. Eight sapphires. Eight sapphires. Mm. And then, uh, so you uh, you have this sort of. Um... Ooh, man. Uh, sorry, got a little misty there. Uh, so, uh, da, 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 da. using his uh, chef's ability, give us. Let me go ahead, and I'll, uh, I'll figure out what, what the cook treats are, so that way. You have those in the pack as well. Th- th- those though though those do have a shelf life. So, got it. Do is the shelf life on that the uh, the completed pipe train 
of the level four completed hype train for a thirty dollar I mean, gift card. I feel Ooh. like I feel like Ooh. there is no shelf life on a level four completed hype train. You, you damn right. Oh my goodness, you, you guys are amazing. Yeah, yeah seriously. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for being our friends. Um. All right. Well, let's. Uh, I'm sorry. Is that all the inventory that that we're going to? Yeah, that is that is all the inventory. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Wiley, Wiley Hobbit says. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> <laughs> God, I no. love this channel. All right. Uh, I, I don't have anything except except my mace. I really need to. Yeah, I was just gonna say, mother. Delphina, do you just want to hold on to all this stuff for us? Yeah, at least until I can get my things, I need my shield. Badly. Do you, wait, do you need a shield? I, I need mine, but yes. I give where, her mine. Where oh. is yours? Home. So, yeah. DM, um, this is this may be too meta, and please tell me if it is. When you asked us as the DM, who had been here for one to two years. I did see that she raised her hand, but I don't know if that was in game or not. And so I have questions about that if Xander saw it, but if Buddy saw it and only Buddy saw it, then I'm- Who is, I, I'm, who is that? Who uh, is Del Delphi. Delphina. Oh, that Delphina has been in Icewind Dale for two years? Yeah, well, you said who's been here for one to two years. Uh, me and-, and um, Currently, uh, I would say the only person who has a bead on that, now obviously that was the DM asking the players, like, tell me what you know, and so, um, with that knowledge, I would say that the only person who may have a bead on that might be Zolvana. Okay. Uh, unless you want to try to do some sort of mindy meldy, like, hmm. Now that being said, with that nugget, you can then try to. Have no, that. no, I mean, if 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 that was something that that Buddy saw on the Zoom, yeah, that's that yeah, that, so that was that, that's, that was that's Ryan totally fine. I'm asking the players, tell me your tell me your secrets, so that we we can uh, give accurate information. Um, so that being said, oh, party members of mine. Uh, you, for the next eight hours, you have uh, four treats that um, uh, Herrick had made for you. Uh, and uh, you can use a bonus action, just like any other potion that we have, to gain temporary hit points from this uh, equal to plus four. So. Cool, cool. Cool? All right. So for the next right. eight hours, four of you can get a plus four temporary hit bonus on behalf of Herrick's treats. Mm. Yeah, because, you know, he loves you. All right, that being said, party members of mine, what say we? Uh, well, let's let's post uh, someone looking in this tunnel that's heads kind of west and the tunnel heads kind of south, and let's decide what the hell we're gonna do. But does anyone know? I mean, so now I know we're when you say like tunnel that heads south, tunnel that heads west. Well, there's a tunnel here. You are not in a tunnel. No, we're on a mountain. You are exposed on a mountain trail with like the wind and flurries blowing around you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you is a cave. You are currently out in the elements. Never mind. So uh, you can stay there. Hey, did our X beak sled make it? Ooh, um, huh. roll for roll for perception. <laughs> God, are they all dead? Um, stand oh. by. The... Now I roll a good perception. Uh, fifteen. Okay. Uh, Twenty-five. Okay, cool. So, uh, with with fifteen and a twenty-five, nicely done. Uh, you notice that. The, the axe beaks that you had had with you, which was tied off farther away, they had been dropped down the ravine, um, taking the damage from the fall. Um, so while they are not, you know what? Let me go ahead and roll for it. Uh, not Z dead says yet. all the Z says all the axe beaks winded up in Xander. Oh, okay. And, it, <laughs> and, and it now and now I speak axe beak. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, so, oh, well, so oh, one, of the, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, one of the axe beaks is for sure dead. Uh, three of the axe beaks are not dead. However, they are not uh, in a condition to, um, they, they are injured in such a way that they will need to rest. So 
So they are so thank Do, do can we, I mean, can I put to, them out of their misery? I was gonna ask. That. I was just, yeah. <laughs> if, if they're making bad oh my god, are we gonna have another moment where you just firebolt them to death? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, while while that unfortunate necessity is taking place, I just want to say thank you to everybody for the completion of a level four hype train. So make sure you're in the uh, the giveaway exclamation mark giveaway. We will do that. Uh, I believe it's thirty dollar uh, kraken dot com kraken dice dot com gift card after the break after we Woo. draw for the first set of dice. Whew. And now, hopefully, all the unpleasantries is done with. Well, I mean, that would be that would be a question: is does would that be a mercy at this point, or do they look like they're gonna make it? Um. So the three of them that are down in the ravine are are in a st- like they're kind of there's like one of them's got a little bit of a limp. The other two seem to be okay. Um, all right. Uh, one of them is did just did. Um, mm-hmm. so y- you could try to get down there to them, but what's more concerning is that as they are going, that's oh, loud. That's yeah. loud. We need to move. Yes, it is. It's just like, it's, oh, 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 and it's like pinging off the sides of the ravine and it's not great. So, uh, I'm going to start trotting towards that, uh, welcoming, uh, cave mouth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to go towards the giant death mouth because... Yeah, we have to get we have to get out of the wind. Anyway, let's go. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Cool. Um. So, uh, Fairy Elle is like, Flynn, Flynn, stop moving your damn head. Look down at your feet. Why do I need to look down at my? Just, Fine. Okay. Just do it. I'm looking at my feet. Okay. Someone's been this way. How many? Well, if you could look down at your feet, I'd know. I'm looking down. Look down harder. Why are you so tall? I, so I'm average height. <laughs> uh, so do we, do we, are they, is this all in his head or are we only hearing his so side? You, if you're psionically linked, you're hearing this. So, okay. <laughs> rather than having this be constantly secret, secret all the time and making this a six hour game. Um, <laughs> so, so she rolled a 16. With that 16, uh, you notice that there are four tracks that seem to go in and out of the cave. Uh, okay. The, the tracks themselves, or Fariel, and by proxy, Flynn, uh, notice that um, the four tracks go in and out of the cave and that the boots themselves, and they do seem like boots, are of a medium-like build. So at least four going in and out. Whether or not they're in or out at the moment, I can't tell. She can't tell which way the shoes are facing, the boots? Because yeah, only one way to up. find out. They've been going back and forth and back and forth. Copy, so, copy, copy. No. Is anyone well, coming with me? Let's go. Yep, yeah, yep, I, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I will deactivate the thermal cube and okay. stow it. Um, Everybody pack your shit. <laughs> right. And I'm, I'm going to look at Delphi. Well, are you ready to help us? Maybe deal with some nomads? Maybe not be out in the cold? Uh, definitely yes to not being in the cold. I will, I'll do my best with everything else. Well, that's what we do as well, so. Yeah. All right, party members. So you make your way up the icy path? Yep. Excellent. Uh, as all of you are experienced, uh, I imagine some kind soul had told Delphi to put on the crampons. Yes. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What? So yeah, we totally, crampons, we totally which are the, uh, basically like a, an, uh, sort of a, an ice toed uh, cover for the bottom of your sh- boots, which allow you to chink into the ice so that way you can like climb without slipping and sliding because this icy path is indeed just that, an icy path. Um, and those of you without them would notice very quickly, um, just like the cave of the hag, that um, you'd be falling on your butts. All right, so uh, as you get yourself up uh, to the portico, you see very clearly that it is uh, a sort of a grotesque bear shape. Um, and 
um, it, it it's it does seem sort of roughly hewn together as you look into um, the the mouth of it. You see that the the dwarven uh, framework of the doorway is almost behind it, and so the the, the portico had been built on top of it. Mm -hmm. uh, the the wooden structure is open, like, and there are heavy chains that lie to the side of it. Heavy chains as though to, to shut a door or portcullis or something? Yeah, yeah. So as you kind of look at it, the, the, the wooden, so the, the structure of it seems to have these sort of like wooden, like, uh, handles that you could conceivably, like a, like a, with a, with a, um, double door, you could run it through the handles and then snap the padlock on it and that would keep it closed from people coming out or going in conceivably. Um, and as you get up to this, you hear the ax beaks in the distance like ah, ah, and like they're sort of getting farther and farther away and it's at that moment that you really should have quieted those things. Unmistakable sound of a dragon's roar. Into the cave. <laughs> the dragon's roar from behind us where the x speaks are or that where we're headed? Seems to echo down into the ravine and come rumbling up 20 feet from the bottom of the ravine. I'm... The ax beaks are flipping their shit now. Well, I'm give us a running of into the cave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, come and as the so as as the roar just it sounds like ice and death and cold and pain and the axe beaks all of a sudden are screaming and you hear them and as they're like in this high pitched fervor this bone snapping crunch is heard from the from the ravine below is and it just like one by one, the, the, the ax beaks are getting more and more frantic, but also more and more quiet as there are less and less of them to chew upon. And as you bolt into the darkness of the cave, we'll take our break. Yeah. Ooh. So, uh, as the party moves into Zad, uh, the caverns, uh, you, you hear behind you the unmistakable sounds of a dragon crunching and munching on the poor, uh, poor axe beaks that are that are left to fend for themselves in the chasm below. Get in, um, get in, I, get in, get in. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up here to behind. Uh, Shame. To behind <laughs> Delphi, and I'm gonna say, let's go, yeah. let's go, let's go, go, yeah. go, 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 go. Delphina, let's, let's go. Okay, okay. Uh. And then from from here, if I can feel like I'm at least half covered a little, I would like to look back behind us and see if I can spy said munchy munch dragon. Munchy so, munch. Uh, so from, all right, I'm gonna say, go ahead and give me that ping one more time. Hmm. Where where I am or where I want to look? Yeah, I'm right there. And so you're kind of looking. Yeah, uh, I just I just want to look kind of you know back from where we came okay, to see okay, actually, knowing knowing so where the axe speaks were. Yeah. to see if I can spot it to so you can you can hear the sounds of the crunching and the munching kind of happening down here in this ravine uh, which is about 20 feet down in order to see you'd kind of have to get close to the edge and kind of look over I mean um, I want to know but I don't want to know that yeah bad. right yeah it's like mm, valor being the better part of discretion <laughs> uh, so oh mighty professor. I see that you have wandered in. So as you kind of Oh yeah, I'm in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm in. <laughs> oh, the uh, the the weakest melee party member who now has yeah, one arm is, the, is, <laughs> yeah, is yeah, yeah. the on point. First since yeah. our point man has both of our point people in his head. Yep. This is good. This is going yeah. well. I want to be as far from the dragon as possible. That doesn't feel like a bad plan. I feel like that's I mean he he's got a point. Yeah. If I could have gone farther, probably would have gone farther. <laughs> uh, this over to my right is that does that kind of dead end right there? Uh, oh yes, point yes. Point? So so this uh, so this dead end that you kind of see as you're looking around. So uh, inside the cave itself, it I'll is, tuck in there. 
dark. So you will need some way uh, in which to either illuminate your way forward or uh, a handy dandy way of seeing in the dark. I imagine for I some will. of you, that's going to be less of an issue. But uh, yes. so that. Much less of an issue for me. Yeah, right. I'll go ahead and produce flame. Brilliant. Just so I can hold that. Oh, do. What do. I? She can see through my eyes, but I can't see it's with her of... eyes, right? Um, oh, the, did Fariel lose her dark vision, technically? Oh, if she's like, looking through so, human eyes. So yeah, so for, so for, I think she's looking into the darkness of Flynn's mind right so now. Actually, what you see, Flynn, is like as you you can kind of see out of one eye, in the dark, and the no, other eye, God. you're just like, oh, God, this sucks. <laughs> so, I I. I immediately tear off the cloth and make a uh, make an eye patch. I'm not gonna try and yes, deal with it. That's what I want. I want an eye <laughs> patch. <to play>. <laughs> <laughs> my uh. What <laughs> My 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 deep and dark desire to just have more pirates in this game is. is... <laughs> Give me a hook. I mean. Oh yeah, like right up on his shoulder, like yeah. grapple me, yeah. you son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay. Just a big old like spike coming out of my. <laughs> Oh yeah. So as you so as you pull into this cavern here, uh, you hear the like the crunching and the munching uh, around you uh, as it's sort of back and behind you uh, to the ravine behind, um, and in front of you is sort of uh, this this cavern. And as this cavern opens up, I'm going to go ahead and reveal some more to you. Uh, since uh, so, party members, uh, like yeah. So the professor. So yeah. What, what is your what is your dark vision range? I believe. Uh, I think the long. Well, I know feet. Herrick had something ridiculous like three hundred. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I have sixty feet. Sixty feet. Okay, cool. So East. which which I think is what my marker is at. Lovely, lovely. So then, as you look, hello, cat. Cat. Uh, cool. So then as you look out across the uh, the expanse there, Xander, you see that in this area, uh, there appears to be uh, two cells on the far side of the room. Uh, it's about a 20 foot high chamber that has uh, icicles sort of hanging down. It's festooned with these sort of dripping stalactites. Mm -hmm. um, the two alcoves in the north are fitted with uh, another set of like rusty iron gates. Uh, they have like a, a it looks like they may or they could possibly be locked. Um, and then inside them, there appears to be like a like a like a huddled mass inside each of them. So. Um, oh, there is something. Okay, okay there's there's cells just to the north. Maybe there's something inside them. Uh, DM, what is this? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong. To need my pinger. What is this? Is this a little like a little crevasse, or is that something that's yeah, built? Yeah. So up? the the path itself kind of comes out at almost like at the halfway part. So like you're like ten feet in the air, as it were. So as you then walk down this way, you, as you then walk down, use the clicker. Uh, as you walk down this way, you then come down to the level of the room. So you're like ten feet up here mm. on this platform, and then when you get down to here, you are now from the from the floor to the ceiling is twenty. Make sense? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. So you are currently on like a raised platform. And as this slopes down this way, you then enter into the room. And as you enter into the room, it come, then becomes the 20 foot chamber. Okay. <laughs> as we, as we enter. Suspect. All right, go ahead. Oh, no, you're, uh, I was going to say, as we enter, uh, Delphi's going to lean down and pick up a rock and then cast light, which is a cantrip. Nice. Is that the range of your light? Uh, touch sphere, 20 feet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I, so the giant blue, I was trying to pick a better aura. The blue aura is my dark vision. Oh, nice. It, if okay, it's 60 cool. feet, okay, I have the same dark vision. That's why the colors were changing. I couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah I was right. trying, to, trying to do something that didn't cover up your your yellow for light, there for you. flame. Um, But yeah, so the, the, the blue overlay, Ryan, is what I can see. Me too. And what Zalvana can see. Oh, brilliant. Okay, cool. And probably what Delphi can see. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah I would think, being an, an Azamar yourself. Yeah. Yes. Not, not that I'm telling tales right now, but. 
<laughs> so much tail. So, so many tails. Uh, so uh, much tail. I can have a tail to tell you lads. So, mm -hmm. all right, friends. So, uh, do you venture in or venture out? Uh, can we? Don't want to go out there. Let, let's give a super per perception check to see if we hear any anything from the cells or anything deeper into the cave system. Excellent. Yeah, uh, on that. Roll that perception. Ooh, that's a nat 20. Nice. That's 24. Oh, yeah. Perception. Oh, well, then ooh, maybe I'll just ooh, let Delby do it. <laughs> um, nice. Oh. Nobody, nobody burp because I'll hear 16. you. 16. All right. Mm -hmm. Perception oh. is 23. So, Delphi, off in the distance, you hear. With a 24 perception, you know that it sounds like someone like repeatedly knocking either into a, a, a chunk of wood or 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 maybe bone like it, it but there's a, a, a pretty steady like like drumming rhythm and then it stops there's a little bit of quiet and then it picks up again. Oh, um. And it does this uh, intermittently as, and as you're listening to the sounds of it, it kind of echoes and reverberates off the cave walls around you, but like you hear it faintly. It's almost like a vibration with that 24. There's, there's definitely something. You notice something. that it comes from the north. Yeah, it, it, it sounds like it's coming from, and she'll point in the direction and it, it sounds like somebody's knocking on something or, or hitting something, uh, chopping wood, maybe. It's coming from deeper in the cave system, though. Yes. Would I be able to hear that with the 23? Yes, with the 23, like you hear it. Uh, you, you're able to be like, there's def like there's noise coming that direction. You weren't able to get with with a crit. Um, you weren't able to get like that. It's, it sounds like someone knocking into something, but you're like, there's definitely like sounds coming from that direction. So great. Yeah. <laughs> um the cold hard witch, the game of ice and dread. Yeah. Cold hard witch. I'm just gonna like I'm gonna kiss pull on uh <laughs> I get you on your knees. Oh my. <laughs> wow. No, it's gonna be because of the dread. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, begging and pleading. Anyway. I would like to to move up to here and look down these the kind of whatever I can see from here while still masking myself a little. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to pull out my crossbow and basically just stay on like off Xander's shoulder. I'm moving down too. Yeah, I'm going to move down and look back. He's like, come on, Delfina, stick with me. I will. If I have the right tool to move myself. If I, yeah, if I have the right tool to move myself. All right, so buddy, from uh, Xander, from your angle, as you're kind of looking down, you see that this way there appears to be a, a continuation of the cave, and then it looks like there's a, almost like a drop off. As like kind of peering at it, you're like something's the floor changes there somehow. Mm -hmm. um, looking at okay, it. okay, not good, not good up there. <laughs> I just not, like hate that. All right, great. Um, I'm going to check out those cages. I haven't oh. seen them yet. Unless Xander is. Well, yeah, I, I, did, I, yeah I, I, did, Xander I did mention. Did say, correct. So Xander right. did say to the party, there are some uh, cells then to the north. Of the I do want to get closer and be able to check those out. Yes, you do. You beautiful bastard. All right, cool. I so, look behind me as are you guys are you guys coming or not? You guys <laughs> like yeah. I imagine like twenty feet behind him is like <laughs> uh, Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with them. Uh I, I'm gonna still try to cover this this uh hallway in here. Excellent. Excellent. Right. I'm gonna if Flint's going over there, then I'm gonna go with Sander. Lean up close to the bars and hold the the flame up and try to get as much light to see in there as possible. Okay, okay. And so, set him on fire. 
<laughs> so as you as you sort of get, so as you get to the uh, the the actual cells themselves, you notice that uh, similar to the um, the portico outside, the chains, the padlock, and the keys lie discarded on the floors next to them, uh, and then inside them are this sort of. Make a make an intelligence check, Professor. Ah, uh, oh, man. Sure. If you if you have the, uh... uh, it's a ten. A ten. Okay, with a ten, it's an egg. Like a big egg. And so, is it? It round. It like. Does it look like it could move? If I it, would like to reach out. So it is. It is an egg shell. Uh, and it has indeed been like, cr- like opened. It's it, it is an emptied egg. So okay. you're looking at the shell of an egg. It's about bluish white in color. I'd like to reach out with a what to, to, uh, the, the telekinesis. What is it called? My, uh, more yeah. my yeah my yeah tele yeah telekinesis yeah. my mage hand and yeah. uh, just kind of just give it a just give it a, a wiggle just to try to get a better look at it. If cool. I can move it closer, possibly move it closer. All right. Uh, so, uh, and again, like the cell itself, like you can open the gate if you wish, but are you no, trying no, to use the mage fine. hand? Yep, I'm just using mage hand just to try to shift it. Trying to shift the, so you're trying to shift the sh- eggshell itself? Or yeah, shift yeah the, I'm just, the, the eggshell. I'm just trying to rock it gently back and forth okay. and maybe okay, like cool. tip it to get a better look at it. Okay, yeah. So uh as you so uh what is it? Five pounds for is it ten pounds? Uh my telekinesis is a bit stronger than that. Like I can actually use it to to shove creatures yeah. and things. Okay, awesome. So with with your heightened telekinesis, you're able to sort of pick the egg up, and as you pick the egg up, like you notice that it would have contained about a medium? A yolk. Creature, yeah, <laughs> and that's no yoke. Mm. Something's hatched from these. Professor, I want to remind you that there's a dragon outside. Flynn, <laughs> <laughs> Flynn coming in with the obvious hammer, and uh, Flynn, make a perception check. I'm gonna move over to the next one. Nineteen. Nice. Uh, with that perception and with the professor moving over, professor, you see a second egg in the other chamber as well. Similar in size. Is it intact? Color. It is hatched. Oh. Uh, is there any way to tell what kind of eggs these are? Like, what kind of creature? Like, give me a. Are, give me are a- these dragon eggs? Or give me a uh, give me a, give me a, give me another nature check. One more. Come on, you got it, big brain. Nope, seven. <laughs> All right, Flynn, what you got? Uh, for nature. Let's yeah. See. <laughs> we'll see. Um, you can nineteen. Add, oh, nice. And you can add <laughs> Feral, yes, and you can add Pharaoh's plus five. So with that nineteen, uh, with her 24. plus five, twenty four. <laughs> I love this. I love this party flexing on this. This is really nice. Uh, so with that 24, you conclude that they are indeed white dragon eggs and that they hatched about three years ago. White dragon eggs hatched about three years ago. How do you know that? I do, just I've got she's in here. All right. She knows more. I, I had a good guess. She had a better guess. This is better. That's the size of the egg. It's the coloration of it too. She says it's the size and the coloration. We, I, aren't we you know, still there's only so many types of dragons, right? There's, yeah, there's a lot. True, but there's only so many. A lot is still not like, I mean, of the chromatic dragons. Doesn't he read Ooh. books? I feel like Xander. He... Xander, how far are you from me? Uh, twenty feet. Okay. Um, just like because my. So telepathy range is 60 feet, so I'm just going to think at you. Two two dragons, white, hatched three years ago. We might have two dragons to deal with in this vicinity. 
Maybe we should go. <laughs> <laughs> well, two baby dragons versus one adult. Three years, Silvana. Well. Which is still pretty baby for a dragon, I would imagine. But baby. Yeah. I mean... So I, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna kind of whisper up, and, and I'm hoping that the professor, maybe I'll move to here, hoping that professor can hear the whisper in this as well. But could we kill two very young dragons? Probably. Would that piss Mama Dragon off? Certainly. Is there any sign that these dragons are still? around when outside dragon <laughs> <laughs> i mean those axe beaks were pretty loud it could have just happened to be in the area this is somebody's like garage right like this is like where, where, your, where your kennels are where you keep your dogs so you can so they can you can get out easy that th this is probably their hunting ground or like if someone if someone like hatches them here, they're gonna be local to here. An axe beak can call in a dragon, but like if it's already if it's already here, you know it's 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 gonna it, it's gonna be the first thing to hear the axe beaks. But we there were there were boot prints outside. Yeah, there's a it's for there's more in here. There's like people in here. Yeah, the people wouldn't be hanging out in here if it was active dragon territory. Some bodies hold or kennel i mean you'd have to be pretty ballsy to try to kennel a couple they're of dragons they're called the bears like the clan of the bears <laughs> i'm gonna while they're discussing this i'm gonna try to listen out uh deeper in again just to make sure that okay we're so not being approached upon hopefully oh yeah so uh so are you are you just staying where you're at xander or are you trying to creep along that hallway a little bit no, I will. I will. I will creep up to get out of their discussion, hoping okay. that that Flynn will ping me if there's a decision. Um, so I'm going to come up to here because I think I'm still pretty, pretty hidden there, and just make yeah. a make a perception. I uh, that's a 14 on the roll, so that's 18. 18, nice. Yes, uh, with 18, you, you like very distinctly hear the same sounds. This sort of this like whacking, like drumming, this like thudding, and then like uh, uh, as it's coming from this part of the cavern up ahead. Can I uh, lift those keys? Yeah, like the the keys in, by the cells. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take them. All right, cool. Make a sleight of hand check. And then with, uh, add with an advantage from Fairy L. Add to it a plus nine <laughs> from oh, Fairy L. Plus nine. Wow. Yeah, Holy okay. shnikes. Drogue coming in hot. So. Um, that's a 11. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. <laughs> what, is that nine on the roll or nine on top of his Oof. adjusted roll? Yeah, right. Because it Oof. might be a 14. Well, it, it, <laughs> it was. So it's plus nine to whatever Flynn rolled. Oh, it's to the roll. Okay. No. Yeah. No. Eleven. Because because it wasn't Fariel's idea. So. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as you go to as you go to pick it up, like you you grab the keys, but as you grab the keys, that like they were in one of them was in the actual padlock, and so the padlock drops, and as it drops, it does this like solid like. Ping! Go move move now move now move now we gotta move. For that and that's. And that's and then like there's so yeah is it move 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 or is it like sphincter held? No, because when something drops and like you get that sudden shock of like ah oh, there's a sound in the sudden silence you yeah. move then if you stay there you're just gonna get caught. I like. That. I'm gonna duck behind this pillar, whatever okay. it is. Okay, great. I when that when that happens, does the noise up here stop? No. No, the noise up there does not stop. Let me see here. Guys, there's a another passage down here. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, I was just hoping that was part of the mountain. <laughs> I can't see what's down it. 
All right, I'll, I'll go. I'll go look. Got. With your one good eye. With my one good eye. <laughs> one good eye. <laughs> All right, dig it. So, uh, where, uh, where are you going? Um, just close enough so I can look down this corridor dig thing it. here. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it goes far. So as you look down, the, oh, that's not helpful. Make the right choice. All right. So as you look down this corridor here, what's that? That's sixty feet. Yeah, I'll give you that. That seems that seems civil. Uh, as you look down this corridor, you, you kind of see, uh, getting used to the dark vision in your head, which is super fun. Um, there seems to be uh, like a rougher surface to the ice uh, uh, and the, the, the floor of the cavern in front of you is sort of churned in a way that isn't, isn't present in the cavern, in, in the section that you're in. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and as you, as you go ahead and sort of peer down here, you see sort of emerging from the ground seemingly like almost like a worm uh or like a worm like a worm this creature oh. as you look and see this white dragon crawl out and pull itself from what appeared to be just a, a crack or a, a crate, like a, a shoot in the snow itself. And as it pulls itself out, it begins to sniff the air. Um, I I'm will. Gonna, I'm going to grab the professor and start moving backwards. I will contact you telepathically and say, what is it? White dragon. Size? Small or medium? Yeah. Mean? <laughs> um. <laughs> Size mean. All right. I will back up with Flynn. And as you start to back up, the dragon, like eyes, lock down the hallway, and it growls. I will... Hey Xander, um, yeah, situation. Xander's within reach. <laughs> I will telepathically contact Xander and say we got company down here. Uh, Found the dragons. Right. As, uh, <laughs> la 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 <laughs> la la. la. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will. Uh, At this point, and can I move, or is it? Is, mm. Are we initiated before I move? Uh, so I'll give you a move, and then, friends, you know what time it is. Oh, yep. man. All right. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to come to here. Are you going? All right. Yeah, fodder nutter. <laughs> <laughs> um, Young lady, I'll have you know this is a family stream. <laughs> like, My father was a fodder nutter. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, oh, everyone's kind of rolling a little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Everyone's rolling trash. Yeah. Really? I mean, no, I was. Got, we got some good ones. Oh, no, there's some really good ones. Well, you guys are doing great. It's like, oh, I saw, I was like 20. I was like, oh, no, I'm going first. Oh, God. Thank God I'm not going first. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Well, okay. Y'all, y'all did really, really good. So let's. Is that is that everybody playing? Um, yeah, I'm just yeah. waiting to see what the dragon's initiative is. Yeah, right. Don't you? You okay? You okay? It's like everyone did a really nice job. So, all right, friends. So top of the order is none other than the dancing king himself, Xander. So Xander, uh, you begin the combat. I like it when Ferial goes first. 
Uh, I think I have to move a little bit to get LOS. Um, well, I'm going to see what it does when I... Mm, man. Uh, can you give me one second? To, this is a new spell that I haven't actually used yet, so I just want to make fancy. sure. Yeah. I know, right? Um, Sounds horridly trifling, but all right. Oh, uh, well, you know it. It's for me. You know it's going to be trifling. Absolutely. I, I would expect nothing less. In fact, I'd be embarrassed for you if you didn't. Okay. I am going to use uh, Tasha's Mind Whip. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Yeah, I heard that. In mind. It's a whip. It's <laughs> mind. It's whip. whip. Uh, Tasha's Mind Whip. You physically lash, you psychically lash out at one creature you can see within range. All right. Tar what? The target, the target must make an intelligent saving throw. On a fail save, the target takes 3d6 psychic and can't take a reaction until the end of its next turn. Okay. Where did you find reaction. that spell? I want that spell. Right. It's uh, it's That's in Tasha's. That's my flavor. It's in That's Tasha's. Yeah. Flavor saver. Um, so. More. So, all right. So we'll we'll deal this out. And we'll see if, if it makes it yeah. save first. So, so do something. All right. So do I do I need to roll this save or do you need to roll? Yes. The it's it's a it's an intelligent save. Lovely. All right. With my intelligence, I roll a. 12. That does not save. Curses. All right. All right. So oh. the, there are a number of things here that happen. Oh, lovely. All right. Oh, lovely. So first, there's 3d6 psychic damage. Uh, ooh, wow. That is going to be 11. All right. 11 damage. 11 psychic damage. All right. 11 psychics. It, it cannot take a reaction until the end of its next turn. Now, reaction, which means it can still take actions and bonus actions? Well, oh, wait, let me, there's let more. Me get, let me oh, get but wait, there's more. Okay. It cannot take it a reaction until the end of its next turn. Okay. Moreover, on its next turn, it must choose whether it gets a move, an action, or a bonus action. It only gets one of those three. Ooh. That's such a good spell. It's okay. only available for sorcerers and wizards, and I'm really upset. <laughs> and I hate <laughs> it now. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Hmm. So, hmm. So you have to choose move, yeah. action, or bonus, and you okay. get no reaction this round. Okay. Move, action, or bonus, no reaction this round. All right. All right. Sassy pants. All right. Nicely done. Well, thank right. you. So, friends. Man, and, um, and I, is, the professor and I, and is so I, jealous gonna, right now. <laughs> I'm going to say out loud, <laughs> hey, guys, I hit it with Tasha's mind whip. Yeah. Mind oh. whip. Mind whip. whip. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> cool whip. Like what? <laughs> cool whip. <laughs> cool whip. You're, you're doing some purpose. You're yeah. doing some purpose. <laughs> All right, friends, up next is Zolvana. Zolvana, so you see this... Uh, I, so Xander, give me some flavor on this one. Is it like a, what, what, do we see it? Is it just in the dragon's mind? Uh, well, it, so it says I psychically, psychically lash out, but I'd like to think that there's, there's some sort of like almost ethereal yeah. spectral whip that comes from me I and, just, those and you, just smacks yeah, it in the face. Third eye sensitivity, you almost see like a ripple in the air of what is like the possibility of a thought. And as that yeah. thought connects when, at the end of it this crack is heard at the bottom of the and tunnel. it hits it hits the dragon who just shakes his head in confusion for for a moment before yeah. kind of resettling on us yeah yeah you see the dragon's eyes which had once burned to this cold blue suddenly roll back and become a frosted white as if it is just racked in it and trying to figure out what has happened to it and I'd like to think that he says, wait, what was that? Oh my Quint. God, there's so many. Why? <laughs> All right. Why? All right. So, Zolvana, you're up. Uh, all right. So, I'm going a, I'm to a move my, my 30. I think hey, this everybody, is... thanks so much for coming out and seeing my set. I'm going to go ahead 20. and start with... <laughs> and then <laughs> move here. Here's so, Wonderwall. All right. I think that's about 30. Um, I'll trust you. Word. 
<laughs> Sorry, it's just so bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's um, yeah. Does a thirteen hit? Probably not. A thirteen does not hit. No. Okay. Yeah. No. So you know, I was gonna do the whole crossbow situation. Okay, I was gonna say like what? So you, so you bring your crossbow. Um, yeah. And you, as and you shoot, like the the dragon is sort of like writhing and thrashing about, and as it's doing so, it's really hard to just get a clean bead on it, and so it, you, your bolt just ricochets and buries itself deep in the cavern behind it. Anything else, Zilvana? Um. Bardic inspiration. I mean, if you want. I mean, not yet. Okay, good. I like it. All right. Anything else? <laughs> No, I, I think that's it. I mean, not yet. I'm not really caring about the party at this point. Why yeah. would I help them? You no. know what? I have stuff, okay? I'm just yeah. seeing what's going on. Exactly. Yeah. Get your damn okay. help later. That's and I only have with, a couple. Nothing have, wrong like, with feeling out the situation. Yeah, so Flanario, Farallin. Oh, my uh, God. Farallin. <laughs> Yep. All right. Uh, so, um, remember, you now benefit. I'm gonna bonus action hide. Yeah, uh, do against it. this wall here. <laughs> All right. Cool. Let me see. Um, you know what? That yeah, that, that dragon is struggle busting with its life right now, so it, you definitely get that hide. So. Cool. Cool. Let's see now. Um, let's see if you get that hide. So I have disadvantage to stealth checks. <laughs> <laughs> what would that mean it would be a straight roll then yeah yeah so yeah so with so with that with the pain of the dragon i would go ahead and say that you are able to just do a rather than do disadvantage roll a stealth check okay because um who's uh <laughs> am i adding hers or mine <laughs> uh add god add plus nine to your stealth roll Okay, that's fine. That's a, uh, that's a 21. <laughs> okay. All right. With that 21, the dragon uh, rolls a, a disadvantage. Yep. Nope. Not going to be the six. So uh, rolls a six for that. Uh, so you are able to just kind of like, dun, 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 dun. like you tuck yourself up against the wall and you are maybe or maybe not humming uh, a theme song in your head. Am I humming it or is Ferial humming it? She's actually this... asking you the same question. It's like, are you doing that or is that me? <laughs> no, because I... <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't on it was, recon, it was, so... It was me. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to that, and then she goes, Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. It's going to hit. Uh, yeah, with the 21. I mean, Absolutely. <laughs> so you, you, you pop out with that crossbow and kind of John Wick this thing. So as you take that shot, it like nails it. Go ahead and roll that sneak attack damage. So let's I see don't. here. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah. So uh, it is 2d6 at this point. All so. right. So I get my d8 out here. All right. So yeah. Roll all the sixes. Roll all the sixes. All the sixes. Roll the sixes. <laughs> oh, I just, okay. I just pinged Amy in on Discord and told her that now it's Farallon. She says she can't wait to see how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, 18 points of damage. 18. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. All right. And that, my friends, is why you have a, a drow fighter? A, a drow out? Dr I don't even know anymore. I, I don't know. Is it a writer at this point? Like, I don't, <laughs> know. I don't even know. Yeah. All right. What is love? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So this shot is just uh, <laughs> gorgeous as it sort of trails through the air. And it just like as the dragon is thrashing, it kind of pierces it in its throat and then punches through the other side. The dragon is just in agony at this point it is still kind of like as it tries to like roar at you but it's just gurgling and spitting um it might make it it might make him feel better if there were some battle music oh goodness gracious remember the repeat button is your friend 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn repeat button. <gasps> Let's do it again. All right. <laughs> he wants you to yell, go. Go. Sorry. All right. So, <laughs> Flynn, I know that's not the only thing you can do. Um. He can do more. I I have. Oh, I have two attacks now. Yes, you do. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's> like... <laughs> Was that Fariel that said that in his head? Yes. yes. It's like, it's like I feel like I can do more here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, that's an uh, eighteen. An eighteen is a hit. Roll um, that damage. Now remember, yep. you don't get the sneak attack as a once per turn sort of dealio. Oh so. yeah, no, I don't get sneak attack, but I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, psionic uh, punch on the back of it. Ooh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sneak you, but I'm gonna blow your mind. <laughs> There's so oh, many voices this. in my head. I love this party. Did you just say that? <laughs> we don't yeah, that even question it anymore. So that's gonna be another ten damage. Oh my god! So like, as it's like, so it it tries to get that gurgling roar. Like, as it does that, you just and the dragon drops to the floor dead. Oh shit! Nice, Ooh. huh? Little baby, okay, little, little, little baby dragon. Yeah. See, see, you want me to waste a freaking spell slot for that? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what I say? What games. did I say? Yeah. <laughs> Mea culpa, mea culpa. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as, as that dragon drops to the floor, I say, you all notice mm -hmm. that there's just a little bit more calm in the world. Uh, Professor, is there uh, anything you'd like to do with, uh, with your turn now that the dragon is slumped on the floor? Is that tapping still going on? There is indeed the the thudding from the back of the corridor. Okay. Nope. That's all I am concerned about right now. But uh, let's uh, let's move forward and check this out. Like, well done, Flynn. Well done. I'll pat him on the back <laughs> as I walk by. <laughs> you're gonna go through and and you're gonna check the back. Please yep. be careful. There's a hole over there. Don't. Oh, I see that in. now. Yep. Let's <laughs> not get close to that, and I'll skirt around the edge. Yeah. Don't That's poke about. him with a bunch of needles. Yeah. Are we still in turn order? Uh, I think technically I had to dash to go that far, but yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Because that's not good. Because <laughs> there, because there were two eggs, and that was one baby dragon. I want to get a closer there's, one. There's I, one. I, I, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, look, top of the turn order. Oh, top of the turn order again. And there's a second dragon on the list. Oh, yes. So as the oh, professor. Oh, there are two more dragons on the list now. What? <laughs> no. Ah. Oh, mama dragon. <laughs> that dragon's dead. Yeah. So as There's still two dragon, on the list. Is that true? Is there two on the list? Yeah. There's only uh, one. Oh, uh, I have, oh, I have oh, dragon. I see, I see. One of those is a lie. There okay. we go. <laughs> okay. Ah. Huh. That you're talking to the dragon known as Jalem now. So, um, <laughs> Jalem, Jalem, mm, just okay. so you know. All right, just so, so you know. All right, so then I will, um, so it's my, my turn. One flies through the gate there. So, as the professor finishes up his turn, the dragon, having heard its compatriot scream and fall. <laughs> Yeah, like that. <laughs> Just like that. It comes flying through. It's like... <laughs> That's um, what it sounds like. Which is Dragon speaks cobalt. Weirdly, weirdly appropriate for a uh, for a, a, a wormling, but you know, yeah. it's trying real hard. It, it, yeah. it, look, he's brushing up on looking down. He's working on his roar. All right. So, uh, so as it flies in, it is now going to attempt to do its breath. So, uh, it's got a. Oh, because we're on its turn. Yeah. Yes. So we're not at the top of the turn order. No, no not at the, the top. Turn, of the, turn. the turn order. Yeah, the turn tracker is yeah. incorrect. Oh yeah. So I, yeah, I had, I had. Well, the turn tracker is correct. However, there were two dragons, two initiatives, 
one of them was coming first because it had heard the noise. Yes. But I don't need to explain to you what happens behind the scenes. You don't want to see how the sausage no, no, is no. made. No, no, I'm just saying. Behind. All right, so. Yeah, it, but Xander's it has me, it has me selected at the yes. top of the order. What, 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 what? You have it, you have, they, yes. There we there, go. There, there, there it is. is. There we the go. Okay, I was wondering why we guys were so no, 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 no. appeared. All right, so. This is what happens when you take a week off. Is it? You get rusty. It is. I don't feel you like that's real. You have right. a tenuous grasp at roll 20 at best. When you take a week off, it's just out the door, man. Oh, <laughs> Don't Rest. piss off the DM ever. Oh, oh, okay. oh he, man, I, I have I, I have earned so many anger points from him. that. Oh, there's yeah. no Did you forget that he trifling? There's no way I get out of this alive. Yeah, so that's that's mm-hmm. the thing about Buddy is you can't never forget. He won't let you. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> With that 15 foot, I've, I've only got Flynn and Xander for that cold breath. What well, so, if I press myself up against this wall here? I mean, you certainly can. <laughs> oh, you, are, you, are you using a, a breath screwed. weapon? Yeah. No. Okay. You okay? I don't feel so okay. You know, if I had Bardic Inspiration, I could use that on my face. <laughs> All right, friends. So I save? need both Flynn and... Uh, uh, Xander to make a constitution saving throw. Don't worry, EBI. Remember, you have a bonus action plus four from Eric. So that uh, so that bonus action is a plus four temporary health. If oh. You, so, but you got a bonus and, action now on that. So right. Um, come sorry, con know. save. I was con I was, save. I was con save. Looking at my sheet, I'm like, what am I rolling? And then Flynn, I don't know what your con is. I Ooh. Ferial is a plus two. So how'd you how'd you do, Sport? Not uh, good. Not good? I I, I rolled a five. What? <laughs> I did better than that. <laughs> well that's good. I, I I have a plus four to con, so I want you to do that math. Oh lord. Oh lord, children. Right. So you so you have a total of nine? I have a total of eight. <laughs> This is they see. This is what happens: is I trifle with him hard, yeah, and then I roll poorly. And then so I is, do it when I'm not in the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next time you trifle, then maybe don't put me in fire. All right. Oh my God, I love you both so much. Why do you make me hurt you? Okay. <laughs> oh God. All right. So you, with those fails, are going to take uh, twenty-two cold damage. Nice. Oof. Ouch. Yeah. So as this as this br- this icing breath just comes like cascading down, almost like a, a like an avalanche from the dragon's maw, as it <sighs> you feel your bones just like that deep chill, and like it's almost as if insta frostbite like blasts over you. You there's like a grating on your soul as you are just feeling like you'll never be warm again. So uh, and with that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move next to Delfino. That's nothing. My my last breakup was colder than this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Easy for someone who has thirty eight hit points normally to say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Catch my wayward pooch here. Okay. <laughs> On that, Delfina is going to use her spiritual weapon. Okay. Fighting evil with feathers, <laughs> tickling people <laughs> till they die. <laughs> That's my new theme song. Yep. And you will see her rubber hands see, together. See, I need that clip right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see Delphina rub her hands together and draw them apart smack them together, and as she slowly pulls her hands apart in a flurry of feathers, you'll see a feather getting larger and larger and larger and poof, until she has her spiritual weapon drawn. It certainly quill. All right, so. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you it's gonna go. Got to witness the power of my puns. <laughs> All right, excellent. So you go ahead and roll that. Atta- oh, a 15 is not enough. Okay. So as you go ahead and take that 
feather out and it flies towards the dragon. The icy breath just seems to sort of like dance across it and as the dragon sort of ducks its head out of the way, the feather just flies just above it. Okay, and then... Now that was a bonus action. <laughs> I was gonna say, okay, so that didn't work. Just to clarify. All right. Well, I guess the only way you can beat ice is fire. <laughs> Sorry. For... <laughs> I'm, I'm ignoring you. The only way you can beat ice is with fire, so I'm going to cast Firebolt. God. Oh, yes. how'd that go? In my mind, that's you going, I'm going to cast Firebolt. And you just <laughs> like shoot it straight up. <laughs> it just straight up. Like, damn it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Uh, I mean, the other way you could have combated that was by healing me. Um, <laughs> oh, fun. look, Larry, I forgot Except about that. That's what Xander wanted to say. Oh, Max. my God. <laughs> so dead. Run, just run. Just she run. Did, she did say she was new at this. We got to give her some slack on that. <laughs> I've never played it right then. So, back to the top of the order. Xander. <laughs> run away. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran. I ran so far away. Yeah, I just, I'm not sure there's anywhere I can really run to. You couldn't get away. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know what I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use that Tasha's Mind whip again. Oh, you saucy. All right, go ahead. Intelligence save, please. All right, then. Let us see what it entails. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, it somehow got a negative two. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, that was close, yeah. but not really. Yeah, so how, so how smart are white dragons again? Oh, they're, they are the dumbest of the oh, chromatic dragons. It's so, so nice. So this bad boy has an intelligence five. So oh, yeah, Xander's it, coming in pretty clutch with that. <laughs> well, it, it's only it's only eight points. Like, um I'm gonna harm hey, so, you with your inability to read. It's like no. Hey, hey so eight <laughs> points of eight points of psychic. Okay, eight points. No, of psychic. no reaction on its next turn, okay. and it must decide if it's going to move, act, yeah, so or it's bonus got action, or bonus action, or yeah. move, or move. That's right. And so now knowing that, I can since if it moves to me. It's not going to hit me. I am going to move back just a little bit. Yeah, that's fair. And, that's fair. And just lick my wounds, I guess. <laughs> I'm not super sure how. Careful though, your tongue's gonna stick. So <laughs> if it closes these wounds up, that'll be fine. All right um, then. Uh, nicely done. So uh, the dragon is gonna have to make choices. The hardest thing for it to do. Uh, and then Zolvana, you're up. Um. All right. So. I'm gonna look at Delfina and be like, hey, so I think you have a potion of healing in your backpack and mm -hmm. maybe give that to Xander. <laughs> um, and then, uh, all right, so <laughs> I don't, hmm, there's too many things, too many, too many choices. <sighs> okay, so let's try to attack them. Does a 19 hit? A 19 hits. Cool. So I'm going to use my crossbow. Uh, it's 1d6 plus 4. 1d6 plus 4. So 7. 7, okay. Um, yeah. And then I'm also going to give... Um, wait, does Bardic Inspiration help you, Xander, at all? Like for your healing at all? No, yes, maybe. Uh, not not if I were to use a healing potion, but if okay. someone, if you give to someone who spends a heal on me, they can add that to the heal, I believe. I believe True, so as well. DM? Yeah, because I can't use it on a on a to, to add to a right. potion. But uh, uh, yeah, but a cleric could say for it, like if you were to cast Healing Word or Cure Wounds, add that for your bardic inspiration. The beautiful thing about the Valor uh, school is that you can do it for healing, but you can also do it for damage as well. Yeah, so. Valor, Valor Bard is where it's at, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, their inspiration rocks. It's inspired. So mm -hmm. uh, anything 
Uh, so Zalvani, you want to you want to toss one out? You want to? Yeah. Um, toss a coin to your Xander. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a, a part of inspiration towards it's, Xander. Dig it. You're gonna give it to Xander, or you want to give it to Delphi? Delphi. Oh, should I give it to Delphi since she's gonna cast the spell? Yeah, so I'm gonna give it to Delphina. East theory, anyway. All right. Po- po- possibly. Possibly. Yes. So possibly. expired. Big. All right. It's so expired. Expired? Inspired. Expired. Whatever. Right. <laughs> okay, so bonus action has been had. Action has been had. Lovely. Anything else, Silvana? Um, no, I'm gonna stay the fuck put because I'm in a good location. Yeah, no, right, right. All right. <laughs> Flynn. Flynn? Flynnius Maximus? Yeah, I was talking. No, uh, but, oh. No. No. <laughs> the mute button. Um, how tall is that rock by Zelana? Uh, so that rock is, I would say, 10 feet. Or I'm not sorry, how, how tall is that rock? Yeah, so t- from, the, from the bottom of the floor, 10 feet up. So it okay. is. Okay. Um, so I'm going to move over there and bonus action hide. Dig it. All right. So uh, we'll do a straight roll off for, th- oh no, yeah. So yeah, straight roll off because you would be at disadvantage, but the dragon is mind whipped. So roll it, add plus nine to it because that's how fairy I'll roll. 25. Oh, the dragon rolled a 17. Well done. You managed to whoop. Shadow oh, cool. All right, dig it. She's like, uh, it, is, it is cool, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, now I'm gonna hit it with the crossbow for the first one. That's a 23. Mother. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> I have created a monster. All right. <laughs> That's my regular. I have a crossbow. I'm. I can use it. <laughs> so glad I picked up this crossbow. <laughs> uh, I didn't roll as well this time. Um, so it's. Two, four, ten damage. Okay. Is that with sneak? <laughs> that's with sneak, yeah. Yeah, that's with sneak. Wow. All right, so uh, ten damage comes in, and and like, so again, the dragon, and so having seen the way that Xander's spell sort of causes the dragon to sort of like flail and move about, you're able to, using both like your fighter's instinct and the, the current rogue abilities, get a clear beat on it, and you just put a bolt in one of its eyes, and it just... <laughs> And it screams and starts clawing at its face. Uh, so it has disadvantage now on sight-based checks. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear from the back of the cavern the sound of a trifling PC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just all like hurt up in the back. I'm like, take that, you son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, I, I can put again. it back in. I can put it back in. I think he rolls with advantage for that, right? <laughs> Shoot him again, Flynn. Shoot him again in the other eye. Oh, I'm going to try. Let's see what the second attack does. Uh, 23 again. Yeah, Rick him, Rick him, Rick him, Rick. Put that bolt into that Drake. All right. Yay! <laughs> Javar, Javar, he's, he's all right. Right. He can't do he it. Can't do it. Great! Great. <laughs> this one will also be with the psionic strike behind it. You mother. All right. Uh, only nine damage. Oh, my God. Only. And so as you sit there, and like the the second shot gets him in his other eye, and as it gets in the other eye, he starts to like flail back, and then the psionic push happens. And as the psionic push hits, it goes and like blows out the back of his skull. So you see the dragon sort of just fall forward as it falls forward, it then slides down the ten foot embankment and just comes to a halt in like a puddle of its own goo. Mm, goo. Mm, and very good job there. Uh, Alrighty then. So, two dead dragons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dead dragons. It's like All that right. fight scaled pretty well. All right. So, oh. <laughs> I like to think that the professor never even noticed there was a second. No. One. no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys really should come take a look at this thing. <laughs> this thing's crazy. <laughs> Reminds me of my own. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so well done, friends. Two drakes. Two wormlings, I should say. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do want to take a closer look at this thing. As well, you should. 
All right, so uh, you roll on that, that sweet, sweet investigation. Is it an investigation? Yeah. I mean, investig- I would do mitigation. Mitigation? That's not Wait, even a word. It- All right, which is the combination of medical and investigation. Mitigation. No, um, so what did you, so, you, you get for me uh, there, Professor? Is it investigation? Uh, investigation or medicine. I would accept either. Okay. Investigation, then, is a 23. A 23. Yeah. Nicely done. Okay. It's the one thing I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing I can do. I say plunder bodies. It's like, wait, what? No, it, <laughs> huh? It's for clues. <laughs> clues, clues. No, no, no. This is for science. Yes. All right, let's... Uh. All right, so... Where are you now? Uh, go ahead and RP for me while I uh, look for things. Ah. So make sure that you're entered when um, a second set of Kraken dice. Everybody show your Krakens. <laughs> uh, on camera? <laughs> on camera, yeah, absolutely. Uh, use exclamation mark Kraken, I'm sorry, exclamation mark giveaway to be entered for a drawing for a set of Kraken dice at the end of the stream tonight. You know you want them. Uh, you know also, you want as cracking. as uh, as LSRPG says, if we get a hype train going, uh, we can give away another gift card uh, for uh, crackandice.com. We gave one away before the break, which was amazing. So if another one happens, then uh, we'll have another one of those as well. Is that enough vamping, or do you need more? Yeah, oh, no, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, go ahead, and with that 23, roll me a d12. Ew. Ew. Excellent. Five. Indeed. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? Five. A five. Lovely. So, um, <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty cool. Um, so as you are examining this dragon, uh, you, uh, this worm lane, I should say, you manage to, to pry off uh, a couple of scales. The scales mm-hmm. themselves seem to have, uh, this steam coming off them, but the steam itself is like cold as you run your hand through it. Um, it's as if um, the the scales themselves are like immune to the cold, as if they are becoming a part of the cold itself. And so you think with a little bit of application, you might be able to use that. You can Fascinating. roll D4. D four. There it is. Yep, it's a four. Nice. You were able to recover four scales. Four white dragon scales. Can we not just like gut these mofos and make like capes out of them? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Worm yeah. capes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, you could. I mean, the outside of. Whatever is hacking away, uh, uh, up or drumming, or whatever the you know kumbaya circles happening in the north of the cave. Um, yeah, you know, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you know that even in Icewind Dale, wearing the skin of a sentient creature is looked upon poorly. <laughs> in terms of a chromatic white dragon, are we all wearing furs? <laughs> Still, it's it would help us blend into the ice. More. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna withdraw that. I just, I mean, look, look, no, everything's fine, guys. I got my four hit points. I'm good. Look, I'm pretty Ooh. sure in the land of ice, you know, that would be frowned upon. Also, my <laughs> insides Xander. are on the outside. <laughs> Xander, drink the juice. <laughs> Luckily, this wound is frozen shut. Xander, Xander drink your juice. That's healing, right? Drink your juice. <laughs> drink your juice. <laughs> just, just eat your sandwich, Xander. Just I can, I can heal you. Oh, yeah, that'd be super. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, okay. Um, uh, um, I guess I can, I can, oh, oh gosh. I don't remember which one my mother told me to use. Um, I can use cure, cure wounds. That's, that's the, what I can use do. The, use the good ones and your bardic inspiration. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I, I was at three hit points and was not complaining this much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, wizard you, Missy, <laughs> are not a wizard. <laughs> okay, well. You've been in more bar fights than me, so. 
I'm going to use healing word. That sounds good. Word with mm. my inspiration. Do I need to use my inspiration? I'm going to. D6. I mean, D6, D6, D6. He roll. took 22 damage. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's well, fun. now he has 14, 14 health points. There you go. Sweetness. Okay. No. <laughs> 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 I feel like the tribe inspired that inspiration. There. Thank like, you so much. The role of one. You're, uh, you're but, welcome. Do you feel better? Absolutely. I feel almost as good as a trifling bard. Oh. Blood well, doesn't sound very bard to do. But all right. Uh -huh. well, don't be mean to her. She doesn't have healing spells. Yeah, she kind of does, actually. I do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, I do. <laughs> she, she needs more practice. <laughs> oh yeah, see, she was just teaching Perfect. me. Thank you. you don't, don't be mean to her. Yeah, yeah. It was, it's good. It's a good lesson. It's a good lesson, <laughs> Professor. Who knew, Who knew yes. the dragon would wound the party morale? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lashing out because Herrick's gone. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. Mm. Mask your pain. All right. Uh, so, it. party member. So, the uh, professor has <laughs> the professor has uh, has scaled up uh, in his excavations, and then uh, anyone else? These, I'll shout back to Flynn and say, "Have you have you seen these scales? These yeah. are amazing." Yeah, I have. There's one over if here. They, if they're yelling at each other, I'm going to message Flynn and say, "Keep your damn voice down." And then I will also message the professor and say the same thing. Is the thwacking <laughs> still happening in the north of the cave? Um, that that is just what I was about to suss out myself here. Can I respond to, to his message and say there's yeah. a hole down here? <laughs> so, uh, the the thwacking has uh, currently stopped. Oh no! I, I will message that to Flynn. The thwacking stopped. Get ready. All right, we need to form. A, we need to form form a rank. Um, and move either move either move towards it or get ready for it to move towards us. And I'm gonna call out to the professor that the what the flacking has stopped. I'm gonna move. What do you think is down this hole? A way out. Probably something flacking. <laughs> hmm. Wormlings came up from it, so if it. In, it's a it's a it's a hole it's like a mouse hole man it's probably gonna go outside I... it's at this point that at the mouth of the cave you see what you all recognize to be a berserker again appearing he has in his hands a club and he looks at you all and smiles and then you hear, clear as day throughout the, the chamber, all the world in winter white, sheathed in sleet and ice, set upon with a never-ending night, she conjures paradise! And he starts to charge at... <laughs> the, 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 the nearest bastard is... Uh, is, is me, because I tried to move standard. over to get, to get line of sight on that hall. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. So he chose. Oh, that makes sense. And this is why I didn't waste all my spell slots. <laughs> all right, friends. Let's go ahead and do that Her initiative thing. Herrick's leaving has torn the party asunder. Yeah. <laughs> all we do is fight. I feel like <laughs> it's each like other. Oh, so Wait. Do we have Not to roll bad. again? Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yes. Brand new combat. Um, oh come on! Holy mother crap, of pearl. Weasel. Well, that's just a spell slot waster. <coughs> Hello. Well, don't none of y'all worry about that, because oh, is spiritual gosh. weapon still up? Please tell me it is. Uh, spiritual weapon is one minute, ten minutes. Uh, let me double check. One minute. I one think. minute. Uh, probably no not minute up anymore. I'm, a, I'm gonna say. Gonna, I'm gonna say to the nay. <laughs> gonna have no spell slots left. Spells are for you. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> no blood I regret my daddy. decisions. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> all right, friends. So, so many fights. Top of, yes, don't do that. so many fights. 
Oh, good. Go. We're gonna fight, 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 fight. All right, so uh, <laughs> as the Shardland Berserker starts to charge, Professor, you miraculously, you go first. The professor is going, hmm, mm -hmm. science. All right. Uh, I really, all right, fine. And I'll turn around and run back this way. Yeah, so you would have heard the, the yeah. unmistakable growl and shout of the, of the, of the berserker. Um, so that's real. I'll, I'll jog back. I mean, you know, don't say it begrudgingly. Sorry, if you don't want to come and help us, that's totally cool. I mean, look, let's be honest. If anyone's going to come in clutch. There's a really interesting I... hole down here. <laughs> It'll I'm, still be there uh, when I we're... Don't ever the the and the really Fra interesting phrasing. phrasing. Just phrasing. This Just is turning phrasing. into a real cold, hard twist. Let me tell you what. All right. All right. <laughs> I had to dash to get that far, so that's all I can do. <clears throat> uh, actually... No, because I can't even see that far. I have to go right there. I'm fine. Yeah. I run up here completely what blind. I'm like, what <laughs> are you yelling about? You'll right. see. I love it. Mm -hmm. Zolvana. Cool. I'm going to cast Fairy Fire on the... Um, Zerikar. <gasps> would you like to make some fuck buzz? Oh, God. <laughs> um, <laughs> My love for you was like a ticking fuck <laughs> exactly. Yes. Indeed. Oh, um, so Berserker. you have to make a dex saving throw. Oh, I sure yes. do. All right. Let's see how sassy he is. Sassy. He rolled a 14. Ha <laughs> ha, you don't get it. <laughs> All right. So with that, he is fairy fired. He is fairy fired. All right, he is fairy fired. I'm going to go ahead and make that, uh, ooh, uh, I'm gonna put a pink dot on him. Very fired. Uh, oh, you mean that guy? Okay. Nope. Yeah. Got it now. <laughs> oh God! Look at him. <laughs> like, yeah. He looks terrifying. All right. So that's your. Why act. didn't you call me sooner? Yeah. <laughs> we should get out of here. <laughs> so that means you know everyone will have advantage, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So fairy then, fire uh, allows uh, one everyone to see the creature, and then uh, all attacks made against it for the duration are with advantage. Now that is a concentration spell, so. Concentrate! So Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, and. You still got a bonus action if you want to do something. <laughs> and I think movement, I don't, did you move? I did not move. All right. Um, I, hold on, it's too many screens. Okay, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay right here still. Yep, mm-hmm. And I, I'm gonna, can I hold a bonus action? I'm just gonna not use a bonus action. No, I think you can only hold an action. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, it's what I thought. Action. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. No, I'm gonna mm -hmm. take it. All right, cool. So then that brings us to Xander. Well, it's amazing to me that we're already to my turn, and I'm an eight, and there's four people behind me. <laughs> um, I am going to run away. Five ten. <laughs> I'm gonna move here. With like, ten, with ten feet of movement, okay. uh, and since it has done really well for me <laughs> so far, okay. I'm going to use my last um, level two slot and cast Tasha's Mind Whip. All right, gain intelligent saving throw, please. Fun fact: this guy more intelligent than a dragon. All right, so. Ooh, a 16. That, I think, actually might save. <gasps> you saucy bastard. I am a uh, I am aghast. Okay, so he saves, so he wow. only takes right. half damage. Okay. And cannot take a reaction until the end of his next turn. Okay, so what is the damage on um, that one? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On a successful save, the target takes half damage and suffers none of the spell's other effects. Awesome. Well, crap, Weasel. The damage on that uh, is 12, so he takes six. Okay. Six psychics. And then I am going to... Um, goodness gracious, what do I want to do? God, please don't uh, hurt yourself. Uh, ten, I know, right? Uh, five, ten... I'm going to use the rest of my movement to come back here. 
and okay. maybe the other fighter will get up in the mix. But you know, I'm I'm not going to call nobody out. Hey, actually, we've been doing really great ranged. So <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, like <laughs> this has been a good I'll night say, for us for range. Yeah, Feral Inn has been coming in clutch. <laughs> Feral Inn is definitely mm-hmm. clutch. The dwarf flinging worm slayer. So yeah, uh, and Wait, that is me. Oh, Fer- Feralin. 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 All right. <laughs> a feralelogram? I got nothing. All right. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Everybody okay? <laughs> it's it's my Don't worry about it. My Herrick is destroying this room. <laughs> is, oh. Herrick, is Herrick back? Yeah. Let me go pick up my lamp. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, no. Excuse me. <laughs> I now want cats. I now, I now want the game where the professor has like a feral cat that just falls. <laughs> it might right, mellow him out. Mittens is a bit of a pain, but I love him. All right. Mm-hmm. Just like scratches all over his face. No, no, no. He's 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 mellowing. Oh, it's good. It's good. All right, Flynn, what you got for me? All righty then. I think. Um, let's see. Uh, how's this little little crevice here at the bottom of like the ramp? That's a uh, so at the bottom of it, I'd say about five. So you could hoist yourself up onto it. So oh, no, it... could I hide? Can I, can oh, I... oh, oh, oh! So I... You know what? Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and take a take a shot at that. You, I mean, you could also stay behind that rock, but could uh... I? Oh, okay, because I figured I was too far behind it to like be able to hit him. I mean, what's the the range on your crossbow is? Eighty. Yeah, and that's that's like forty feet. Okay. So. All right, so I'm gonna hide. All right. What's her nine? Um, you rolled a twenty-one. Five. So yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, and here is the attack. The crossbow. You were never there to begin with. That's a three on the die. I'm sorry, what? That's a three on the die. Okay. Okay. Got anything else okay. to add to that or? Uh, a, f- a five to make it an eight. Okay. Uh, that doesn't hit. No. So, <laughs> um, you want to try that again? Yeah, I got, I got, I got, I took another hit at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that's a six. Plus five for an 11. That doesn't hit either. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know who just floated Herrick into the game, but he's uh, <laughs> apparently attempting to just kill the berserker from behind with the power. I, I <laughs> bet I know who put him on there. Yeah, right? Uh-huh. Who is this ghost man? All right. Um. Oh, God. All right. Flynn, you got anything else? No, nope, but he's my bonus action, and I had I used both of the attacks, so I'm. All right. And and you you literally like missed all the way around. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, both shots. I'm was... I, I'm, I'm gonna look at at uh at Feralin. Oh yeah. Is that right? <laughs> oh, okay. Is that right? It happens like... sometimes. Um, oh shit. Lots. I know, I'm watching that here. Like, where is it gonna oh, land? God, okay. See, All right. I'm mad because this isn't I wanted I should have done what I was gonna do to begin All right, with. so so the so the 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 berserker starts like ah, ah, and so and then fuck. Okay, yeah, he uh, he he then starts he just starts, like starts like beating his own skull with the tip bottom of his club and then he charges at the professor. Oh god, okay, okay. He can't even see me. Just kidding. I'm holding a fireball. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure your cat just knocked that over. So. Nice try. <laughs> All right. So he charges at the professor and then proceeds to attack. Three times. Uh, he. Okay, good. So the. Uh, so uh, 14. Yep. Yeah, uh, and eleven. Uh, contest. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. First See, thing we do next. Dice will crack your skull. All right. First so, thing uh, we do on the next right. town is Liquid buy the professor core. some armor. Right. 
I got an eight. He rolled a three. So, all right. Uh, all right. And then, of course, the last one uh, was a critical fail. So, uh, so one got through. Let's see what that does. That is better than I ever oh, wow. okay. expected that, that, to that do. That damage is nowhere near as painful as I thought it was going to be. So you take four bludgeoning, uh, and then I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Guys, I am okay. <laughs> I'm fine, guys. I'm totally fine. We just had uh, 15. Nice. A Con fi- save. A 15. I was totally expecting you to fail that hard. Um, yeah. Okay. So then you, you are able to. So as the as the club comes across, boom, you notice that it's got little chunks of that god awful black rock in it. And as oh. one just clips your skull a little bit, you feel that. you feel that all too familiar madness seep into your skull and you just resist it and as you do it it sort of peers back out of your skull and wisps away like smoke on the wind not again yeah exactly not this time so uh brilliant and that will be the berserker's turn delphina all right uh let's see flynn you look kind of hurt sir that's fine (laughs) <laughs> okay let's rub some so, dirt on it be all right i can do i forgot i had level one spell slots because i forgot to cleric <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> but and that's today's fair. version of chael forgets yeah so we're gonna cast spiritual weapon again and she's gonna do her little sailor moon magic dance and pull out a uh, spiritual weapon yeah yeah Fighting evil with feathers, tickling you till you die. Yeah, got it. <laughs> yes, that. Ba-choom. And I'm going to attempt to attack. Something sounds dirty about that. <laughs> Don't you get my feather dirty? God damn it. <laughs> it's a nine. Please tell me it hits. I want to tell you that. <laughs> you, you could. You could just tell her. And, yeah. Oh, but then. And I'd be lying. Oh no! <laughs> oh, advantage? Yeah, you do. I have advantage. Because he's fairy fired. fired. He's that's why he's. Yeah, he's <gasps> that's why he's pink. Wait he's a minute! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Guess who didn't you know, have advantage? You know. You know what, Flynn? Uh, guess who didn't <gasps> use his absorb elements reaction when he got blasted by cold breath earlier? Oh uh, yeah. This guess is a game I... of remembering. Remember, friends, choices. Guess who got a 21? What? what yes! About. Okay. That 21 comes in hot. So go ahead and... Can I feather? Never mind. Uh, go ahead and do you that damage. Nice! Nine nice. points of feather damage. Nice. So this feather just creates like this wicked... I mean, just like a very Dynasty Warriors sort of thing. Like it creates like a gust of wind that's like... Blah, 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 and like back a little bit. Yes. Dig it. Dig it. And then right. that's a bonus action. Yeah. I'm gonna grab Flynn and say, "Here, have some healing," and use cure wounds. But dink. I like. <laughs> but dink. Not at the second level because I'm out of second level spell shots. Nah, it's supposed to be first level. Ignore that. Yeah. As I no. re-roll cure wounds. But dink. <laughs> Nine points of tickle damage. <laughs> <laughs> so since I did it right, it looks like you get 14 healing touches. No, that's your level two one. It's 12. Or is it 12? The first 12. one, that's rolling 1d7. So you did. Second level, yes, it needs to be the first. So you get 12. You get 12 yeah. points. Shush. I know that. Yeah. It's a level one. Well, but that is. Uh, so with the. No, spiritual... spiritual weapon is a bonus action to, to yes. cast. But it's a still leveled spell. Yeah. So you could do like a bonus uh, action cantrip or uh, uh, a cantrip that costs an action and a bonus action spell, but like you can't do well, two leveled spells. Unless somebody wants to be light, the only thing I've got is fire bolt. All right. So I would say, yeah. So I would say where, where you go ahead and do your uh, spiritual weapon, take the hit, and then as you're going to try to, to touch, you, you, you reach out to your deity, and as you do that, it just, you're like, <sighs> anything? No? Damn. Okay. 
Though, and say, yeah, that is that is correct. So if you do do uh, Firebolt, you would have it at advantage. Okay, then let's let's do this. Eight. That's fourteen with the stuff lives. Good God! All right, so the fourteen hits. Yes. And then, woo! Four damage. Okay, four, four damage. damage. Yeah. Every little bit, man. Yeah, hey, right? I'm trying. All right. Well done, Delphina. Back to... Wait a minute. I'm not hearing any fighting <gasps> music. <gasps> what? Dun, 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 what have I done? <laughs> the DM, it's a game about choices dun, 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 and, and consequences. consequences. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Professor, back to the top. All right, I'm going to move in on this barbarian, look him in the eyes, and say, my turn. And <laughs> from the stump of his arm, dark roiling tentacles will erupt and whip in all directions as I cast Arms of Hadar. I was wondering. Okay, so he, uh, so, so that is a strength saving throw. Okay, okay, this I like. Oh, a little thirteen. No, that is a failure. Damn! Uh, right. So that's ten necrotic damage, and you cannot take reactions. Well, snaps. Okay, cool. Uh, no reactions. For, no reactions for this turn. Correct. Or, uh, until I... until your next turn comes around. Okay. Okay. Um. So with that, I'll go ahead <laughs> and back up then. So I moved five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. We'll go there. Well played, you saucy old man. All right. Anything else, Professor? Uh, no, that is all. All right. <laughs> Silvana, you're up. Okay. So question first. Since I have cast Fairy Fire, and Fairy mm -hmm. Fire is a concentration spell. Yes. And I had you make a dex save. Can Does that mean, like, if I did something else... So the only way it's going to affect your concentration spell of Fairy Fire is if you cast mm -hmm. another spell which has the concentration feature on it as well, as you cannot concentrate on two spells at once. Okay. So um, like Healing Word, Cure Wounds, like uh, those aren't going to be an issue. But uh, I'm trying to think of what other spells you might like Heat Metal. You so I have, I have like Shatter. Which... Shatter is instantaneous and I don't believe a concentration spell. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, duration yeah. instantaneous. Okay, yeah. cool. I wasn't if sure anyone wishes, if anyone wishes to contradict me or help me out, Z. Nope. So. Nope. No, you're correct. <laughs> ah, dig it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's all also right. I've been playing this so... game. <laughs> all right. All right. So, um, since this thing is ten feet, like, do I have to like step out to cast stuff, or can I cast stuff from behind this rock? Ooh, so uh, okay. check in the wording of the spell. It'll say, like, you have to have line of sight or uh, you have to be able to hear the creature or something like that. Um, I would allow you to, like, step out to the side, though I will also warn you that Shatter has, like, I think it's a 10 square. Um, yeah, it's a 10, yeah. Yeah, so it'll, it'll, it'll take a little four square of... Uh, of yeah, ouchie. but no one's around him right now. So oh, absolutely. Can... No, the professor yeah. made the right choice, so. Correct. So, um, I'd like to cast the Shatter. Lovely. So you need to make a con save. Well, let's see if I con. All right. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Sorry, looking at my sheer Sudden loud ring inspiration, 10 foot radius, centered on a point, makes master stage three. Yeah, no, say it's a, a point of your choice within Within range, yeah. So you literally yeah. could be like over there. There's like, yeah, yeah that guy. I don't there. see, I don't see line of sight. So let's yeah. get dangerous. All right, it was a con save. Let me mm -hmm. roll that. He rolled. Oh, he 
crit succeeded. So ah. 23, he comes out looking flush. All right. I don't, it doesn't, I don't. Uh, I believe it's still half it's damage. It's still going to take half damage. Absolutely. Take half damage? So it's still 3d8 uh, thunder damage on a failed save, half as much right. on a success. All right. So 3d8. So that'd be 17 nice. all together. So half that. Half. Okay. So half of that 17. Okay. It is eight. Yes. Thank you. For the maths. All right. Lovely. Anything else from our bard? Um, I'm going to give... Um, actually, since, since I didn't move... No, no, it's an action to, like, pull something out of, like, your bag, isn't it? Right? De depends. What are you looking to pull out of your bag? Um, the... Because I was trying to give like maybe some inspiration but the um the like ocarina or something like that i would i would say that you, as a bard you so just like in this in a similar vein that like a, a warrior would be able to draw his knife or a weapon these are your weapons so you would okay. be able to have it be i don't know <laughs> i'm imagining like an ocarina holster They're like yeah. ah! <laughs> <laughs> or like on one of those keychain retractor reel things yeah it's actually like a, like in the same way like you have a mall like cop. knife in your hand <laughs> So, okay. Um, so a beautiful carved instrument. Do I have to, I have to do a performance check to make sure that this works? Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Can this be a bonus action or is this an action? I, I believe in order to use this, it is a, um, it's an action. Let me double check. Okay, so I can't use it right now. Yeah, it doesn't specifically say, but if you have to make a performance check, then that's going to yeah, be an action. Yeah, performance going to be an action. Okay, yep. never mind. I'll do it later. Um, all right, so I have, I think, one bardic inspiration left, and I will give it to Xander. Mm. Ooh. Um, well, then that changes things. All right, then. Xander. Well, um... So we're all pretty much like tapped out of resources, right? Just about. I, maybe not. Maybe not Flynn, but the rest of uh, us are pretty well tapped out. I, I'm I feeling have, okay. Uh, two, <laughs> I have I yeah, have two yeah. level two spell slots left. Yeah, I think the professor and Flynn are doing all right. Yeah. Uh, and one level one. Yeah. I mean, I only have two spell slots to begin with, but. Yeah. Uh, a all right, short well, rest puts me back up too. Then uh, I'm gonna might as well burn all this shit out. So I'm gonna cast uh, Blade Song. So let me adjust my AC. Mm. Okay, uh, and I'm going to uh, roll up and make an attack on this guy. Um, with advantage, because he's still fairy fired. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, how about 22 to hit? Ah, 20. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll absolutely do it. Okay. There's not any kind of bonus to uh, damage. Oh, I've got the Bardic Inspiration, which is a D6. You sure do. Yes. I'm going to add that Bardic Inspiration to the damage. Uh, for uh, seven, for eleven, um, piercers, I believe. Eleven it's, piercers. It's my my rapier, so I think that's piercings. Nice. So eleven piercers, and he has no reaction. Still correct. Yeah, uh, I guess yeah. until the end of the, his next turn. So yeah. Suck it. Yeah, it's like a deep. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, anything um, else, that's, Sandy? No, I'm just, I need to, that's round one of Blade Song. Cool. Flynn. Yeah. All right. Um, Tell me, say it, say it loud. <laughs> say it. Tell me why. Oh, oh no, you, you, this isn't an idea. Flynn is just going to drop, drop the crossbow. Oh, okay. Pull out his two swords and like, I'm really going to fucking enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> because, um, Ferial's another like I'm I'm gonna like think the fairy like you might want to close your eyes for this because it's gonna get a little spinny. Dig it, dig it. 
Um, because I've still got advantage on him, right? Yeah, yeah. And I and, yeah. and Feral essentially gives me a second attack, right? So Feral gives you sneak attack, so you still have your two. No, 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 a, 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 a second attack. I have, I have two attack actions because of Feral in here, right? Yep. At a level four, doesn't a fighter have a second attack? No, no. not till five. Not oh, till well, five. then you absolutely have a second attack. Yeah. So, cool. So, um, I'm going to hit this thing three times. Oh, <laughs> okay. Dance, magic, dance. Uh, that first one is a uh, 24. Yeah, that'll hit. Keep them coming. That second one is a 21. That'll hit. <laughs> and the third one is a 24 again. Nice. Okay, all three hits. Did you, did you crit fish on those? I did. I did. Good on you. Good on you. All right. All right. So we've got three rapier attacks. And um, with that last one, I'm going to drop a uh, psionic strike on it. And one of them gets um, the sneak attack as well. I didn't hide. You didn't you hide. Had advantage. Advantage. You had advantage on the oh, attack. Oh, that's right. He does. Oh, yep. See, that's right. Okay. All right. So. Three, three attacks, one sneak attack, and one psionic damage. Yep. <laughs> so we've got... In my mind, as he's walking up to this, he sort of does that like little like hot bounce where you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Ooh, it's going to so, be a workout. <laughs> imagine in his head, he says, I've got an idea. And Feral goes, oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, 29 points of damage. 29 Woo! points of damage. Nice. Woo! Nice. Oofta doofta. All right. Whew. Okay. 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 Like he, man. So this like dervish of just like stick them, pull, slice, like backhand, like it's, it's, glorious to watch but as you do this like he just kind of like boom boom like the cuts are coming across him like chunks of him are flying off and then as you stop and i imagine do some sort of like gorgeous hero pose by the end of it he just sort of rolls his head cricks his neck and then he attacks back away he has no reaction get away from him get away yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, no. I used my movement to get there. All your use movement? Use all of it? It's thir it was 30 feet to get there. Yeah. Oh, was it really? 20 feet to get there. Where, yeah, where were you? I thought you were like... You were right next to Zalvana. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think you 20 on that. All right. Yeah, they'll take that step back. Back away. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's just, he's just going to come at you, but yeah, yeah. All right, man, that was that was beefy. All right, so uh, Berserker, having been thoroughly like Did you slapped, say bear, Berserker, Berserker. Oh, no. So uh, <laughs> Berserker, having been thoroughly, thoroughly slapped about by Flynn, he's gonna go ahead and move in. Uh, but before he does that, I need to roll. He again is like starts like thumping on his chest, very Kylo Ren. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch! And as he sits there, he's just like. Uh, 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 and he's just like hitting the, the parts of him that you had like thumped and like stabbed and like he's just feeling the blood like pump in through his vein as if he's like willing his own heart to continue to pump. So uh, how much damage does he take from punching himself? Uh, he doesn't because no. this, the damage is all psychic. In his the mind. damage is love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the damage is love. Uh, and that is his turn. So uh, that's all he does this turn? Yeah. Yeah. I'm mm. complaining. I'm not I complaining. I that's no. I almost like that less. Put him <laughs> I down. I, Put him down, now I don't know what he's doing. Put him down. Nope. I hate that. So, <laughs> uh, Delphina, you're up. Awesome. So I'm going to attack him with my spiritual weapon. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Where's my button? There it is. What? Release the tickle monster. That is eight points of damage. All right, I see eight points of damage. What was the hit? 
Oh, <laughs> you have to do that. I mean, you know, I just. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's trying to streamline <laughs> things. Oh, yeah. It's a 20. It okay, it's okay. a 20. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. I, I knew you weren't lying yeah. to me. I just needed to see it. All yeah. right. Know what I'm doing? I love it. Absolutely. Oh, All right. brilliant. Okay, so, yeah, that that is nice. Okay, so, like, as this, again, this feather, like, like, and it just slaps him and, and, and as it sort of like knocks him forward a little bit. He's now, you, well, you did roll that with advantage to crit fish, right? He's not wrong. I, I, did I? I don't know. No, did you? You didn't. You didn't. Uh, I mean, that I was kind of, that was a friendly roll. reminder. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so close. Huh? Okay. So close. Uh, but yeah, so the, the feather comes across and it just like blindingly, it's it's incredible because it moves so fast. It just seems to slice the skin, and so it's like it's as, as it draws across his body. It's there's nothing, and then all of a sudden, like a seam in his back just opens up. Just, um, but he's still freak. standing. Ah, oh, all right. Since that's my bonus action, I'm gonna move directly behind Flynn to try to keep myself safe. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna use my ba -da -ba -da -ba, my cure wounds. Um, she's gonna go up to him and try to like lay her hands on him, but as she does, she accidentally trips a little bit and kind of bites him. But he gets a uh, 11 points of healing. Okay. Oh my god, like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like like in a like a. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was just like a. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I tripped. How, how we ain't got time for that. We fighting the goddamn monster. <laughs> Now I'm conflicted. <laughs> How right. was your mouth? Never mind. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't need to know. Uh, yep. Yeah. I was like, you know what? This ain't the time for questions. The mystery of the dance. All right. So, uh, Professor, we are back to the top of the order. Yeah. Um, how's this dude looking? Uh, he's. He's weird. Rough. I don't like him. Rough is how he's looking. He's weird. Yeah. Yeah, but he's punching himself. Yeah. All right. Like rough, rough like like the Chihuahua dragon or. Aww. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Like so, you remember? So having fought these things before, you you kind of see like as they start to get like as they take damage more and more, they they like the like the blood and like it sort of turns almost this sort of black ichor color as it sort of pours out of his body. Yeah, just, no, I'm going to hit it with fire. I'm going <laughs> yep, no, I'm like, <laughs> nope, I'm gonna toss a, a toss a produce flame at it. I love it. Uh, it's 18 to hit. That'll warm me up. 18 will hit, yes. Roll that damage. It's just a d8. And rolled a one. Well, that'll oh. hit him. Yeah, that'll do it. So, uh, yeah. One point of fire damage. It takes one point of fire damage. And that was it. He did. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's like, yeah, I know where that came from. All right. Uh, anything else, Professor? Uh, no. I should have hexed him, but it's not worth it. There's always hex time. Yeah. All right. Mm. I love you oh. all. I'm done. All right. Silvana, you're up. All right. So we're going to cast. Um, um, oh gosh, my brain stopped working. Shatter again because cool. he's still there. Uh, so please Wait. make a con save. I will. Let's see if he does it this time. All right. So with his con save, don't do it. Oh yeah, fail. Fail. Do it. Ooh, we rolled a thirteen. Fail. You fail. Oh. All right. So. Come at me with that beautiful, was it 3D8? 3D8 <laughs> thunder. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, okay. It was lightning before the thunder. Oh, you take 20 damage, sir. Dear God. Oh. All right. You take so, 20 like, damage. So as you like hit the shatter on him, like he seemed like he, like the blood just like shoots out from the side of his head and he collapses to the floor into a heap. And as he drops to the floor, his body broken beyond repair, you see this little wisp of blue flame drift up above him, hover in the air, and then immediately drop back down and his eyes open. 
No, I hate this. What? Fuck. All the world in winter's white, sheathed in sleet and ice, set upon a never-ending night, she conjures paradise. And that is where we're going to end tonight's game, friends. Oh, no. She's, <laughs> mm, she's in rice. <laughs> ah, beans. All right. <laughs> I've never hated someone I love so much. I know. No.